Alright, all back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Um, so, before I start, I will first, I guess, I'll let some people get in if they want. If they've seen the announcement, if they even care. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see some familiar faces. Because I do have a few things I do want to talk about before I actually get back to this trial. That's why I'm starting here also, because I don't want a story to continue while... Because I don't really know what the intermission has in it. I don't want anyone to miss anything, obviously. So, yeah. And anyways, hey Chris, uh, you're first I see. You shall leave, and hopefully this comment won't disappear. I don't see why it would. And hey Mike, once again. Oh, oh, cookie, oh, oh, pat. You know how it goes, really. Um, not really seeing... Well, I guess not a lot of people are going to come in, so maybe I won't talk about it right now. I guess it's too early for most people. But I do have some rules here that I have implemented for the class trials and the rest of Danganronpa. I guess I'll at least talk about this for the beginning. Oh my god, Krona. The comment didn't disappear and your eyes are violated. Alright, hopefully Nightbot actually works. I copy and pasted this directly. I guess it won't work. Oh well. Or it's slow. I think Nightbot is sometimes very slow. Maybe it's because also the beginning of the stream. So it just... Yeah, I even copy and pasted it directly from my Nightbot. I guess because the stream just started. It doesn't really know what to do. Anyway, hopefully when it appears sometime, and if more people want to join in. Alright, so, I guess we'll start continuing. Where's my... Okay, there we go. Alrighty then, continue. Class trial intermission, are we ready? Let's go. So what's the intermission like this time, if any? Alright, the Monokuma and Cubs Theater. Wow! The trial is racing towards its thrilling conclusion. Do you know who the culprit is? Uh, unfortunately, yes. If Monokum isn't here within the first, within 50 minutes, we can all go home? Maybe. No. Alright. Obviously, I know, because I know every- Ah, there we go! The streamer isn't the smartest, but would like to enjoy the game to its maximum. Please refrain from making any predictions about the trials, whether real or fake, or else the mods will use a timeout. Alright, finally, Nightbot. Basically, if you know who the culprit is, don't say anything at all. I find that ruins the fun of a class trial. I like not knowing, so I know who did it this time. And that's because, uh, I won't name names, but he kind of guessed it way before the trial, unfortunately. And if you do- I'm gonna follow partner in times. Okay, well, I mean... I guess Makoto Naegi is kind of okay, but don't start- don't make any real- if it's about the actual people in the game, don't make any guesses. How about that? Because I couldn't put a full list of rules in Nightbot. It limits how much characters I can use, unfortunately. Okay, you can keep... Okay, Makoto Nagi, I can let pass. It's when it comes to the actual trials, the real characters in this game. It, don't make any guesses. How about that? Because partner time is right. If you guess really early on, or even if you make fake guesses with some of them being real, it does kind of spoil the game in a way, so I'd rather not have that. It's really an easy rule to not break, just don't make any guesses. Alright. What? No, everything? No, everything. Daddy knows everything about anything. He basically traded his bearhood for godhood. Yes! He has betrayed his earth sign ancestors! Traded? No, I'm still obviously a bear. It is obvious, right? Right, you guys? You sure ain't no fish, but you damn sure smell like one. Anyway, since I know everything, I'll give you the whole story later. Try your hardest to nab the culprit, and believe me, that's no lie. If I lied, it would shake the game to its very foundation. So trust me and please enjoy the class trial without any worries. Alright, here we go. So, here's the thing. Shuichi is a red herring. He is not the culprit. In fact, he's gonna become the main character. Alright then. So okay. Uh-huh. I'm bad at paying attention. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. What do you know? The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. Oh really? I suppose that's one lesson you can take away from this case. Oh, if we learn anything, even self-defense doesn't even count as an excuse. I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring. Flowers from the stump. Is this guy still high on something? And Monodan doesn't say anything. 
All right, here we go. Wow, that was blurry. It's not Shuichi. He's a red herring. You were the culprit. Did you? Probably not. Wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. Not and true, but it doesn't matter. Shuichi killed Rantaro. Were you really together the whole time? Anyways, I, had, I looked back at a scene too from one of the previous streams. What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. What's with her mouth? I don't really get it. I guess we weren't together the whole time. Okay, come on, man. It's doing that th thing again. I'm going to check out the basement. It's not going. I'll come with you. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. That's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro. Why are you so excited? No, Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone. Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. Two to five would have the victim as the culprit under the game's rules since the orchestra was what mattered. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know, the rules are a bit flimsy, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Even if Shuichi did go to the basement, he couldn't have killed Rantaro because... Oh my god. Security sense is going off, I guess. Ugh! I, get it. I forgot it's right click. The security alarm Yo, Liz, Liz, Liz. Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. Anyways, the stream just started, so he didn't really miss much. went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Mm hmm? Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? Look at that face. I've seen that before. Huh? And I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Sophia G. Yeah, that face. Welcome. I don't think I've seen you before. Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. On the bookcase, doesn't really matter, though. What about it? Irrelevant. Can you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Carbon. Let me guess. I'll do it first. Fuck off. Or fuck you, I mean. There, I beat you to it. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for, well, I would say more Danganronpa, but once this game is done, that's kind of it for Danganronpa. Hey, you you did a you did a snipe yesterday at me, so I did to you today. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. I'm already forgetting things. That face again. And no, that doesn't really make sense. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker. Well, yeah, there's gonna be more Danganronpa announcements, but if they're just repeats of the games that have already been released, that's irrelevant. Now, I'm not gonna play that. I might as well play the original PSP version. No, at this rate, everyone's going to think Shuichi is the culprit. I have to do something. I know for a fact that he's not the culprit. So I gotta do something. At this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt- Yes, I know about that. Truth will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles. Yes, yes. Oh! Uh, so do I use left click this time? Because normally I would use right click, but that's not true this time. They reversed the controls a little bit. Yes, they did. Now, why would you do that? Because not only does that make it easier to shoot the target re spots, you also get additional time. What a great deal. Yay, heart. Thanks for the opportunity. Alright, let's go again with this. 
Whoa, Shuichi's in the middle. That's weird. That's a new. All right, receiver, rear entrance, hidden door. Security sensor was armed. Let me see what we got here. Shuichi on receiver. Security alarms receiver. It says that it was placed on the moving bookcase, so in case someone moved the bookcase, but no one by Shuichi. Rear entrance photo was that one. The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. Mm -hmm. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly. Whoa, moved. damn, the words In are weird. To trigger the alarm. What is with the explanation? What? I couldn't even see my mouse thing. Heard the sensor go off. She figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Okay. Kaede and Shuichi were on lookout in the classroom near the stairs of the basement. Although Shuichi left briefly to go check the basement, the two were together the entire time. It's for, for definitely the sensor thing. I should listen to what they're saying. That would actually make things easier for sure. Let's see. Where's the sensor so I can just get on it right away? Ah, yeah, whatever. See, Ron Shuichi. Shuichi couldn't have had the sensor on him. That's right. And I should have evidence that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay, I gotta re-listen to this. Sensor was armed, but okay, because he had... The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from... The sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it. In order to trigger the alarm. So Why is it, it's so hard to see my thing there. I think that's the point. Tried to move the Holy frame rate. Only an idiot can make that mistake. It has to do with... Uh, Say something. All right. Actually, I don't think it's that one. The security sensor was armed, but Receiver on Shuichi. The isn't what What's this, this, this? Sorry, I, I haven't played this in a week, so I forget everything already. Security alarm receiver. A sensor was placed on the moving bookcase, so in case someone moved the bookcase, it would notify Shuichi. Yeah, and okay, what they're saying is. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it. It's, I think it's that one. I'm just very confused right now. You know, it's actually bad to get back to a trial after a week's break. Hidden door. She couldn't have had the sensor on him. Okay, hold on. Let's look at the photo here. So, the hidden door. Rear entrance photo. Uh, the other one was... The other one doesn't matter, I don't think, though. The receiver on Shuichi. Is there only three or four? Lookout classroom, I don't think works. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. I don't think so. I think it's him. I heard the sensor go off. She figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only Maybe the hidden door photo? Mistake. Maybe it's the hidden door photo. Two photos taken by the camera facing the hidden door. The first photo is a shot of Rantaro opening and moving the bookcase. The second photo is a shot of Rantaro attempting to remove the camera. Wait, there's a second one. No. Two photos taken by the camera facing the library's rear entrance. No, it's gotta be this one. The second photo. I think it's this one, actually. Because the first photo here is of him coming in, and that's from the bookcase sensor. Wait, the bookcase sensor... ...triggered which camera? The one on the bookcase? God damn it, I hate taking breaks from this game sometimes, because I forget things. That doesn't matter. I think it's the photos, because the this thing here doesn't really... The receiver on Shuichi doesn't really make prove against anything at this point because they're saying he moved it secretly no cause, no it's because he moved the bookcase so that's why I think it's the hidden door photo actually all right I think oh shit sorry I, okay yeah I, I think it's that photo I need to get back into it 
the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. Oh yeah. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. Unlikely. The sound Kaede heard came from. I'm gonna try this out. Might be wrong. Yeah. What? There's no point. Yeah. So you can disprove she had the sensor. Ah, how do I disprove that? Out of all the hints here, what's gonna disprove that? The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase is. I don't think a lookout classroom has any meaning here. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard. Unless the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it. In order to trigger the alarm. That doesn't make any sense. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. I'm losing time here. I mean, I only have two things and uh, three truth bullets. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. I have to get back into the so Dangarampa mode. Heard came from the sensor when shooting. Nope, it's not that one either. I'm uh, I'm already messing up. Man, this is already hard. Amazing. I'm probably a dumb dumb. Security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly. Maybe it's not this one. In order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. I mean, the hidden... An idiot can make that mistake. The hidden door photos... They're saying this is not what caused it. Is the site with my game collection no longer online? It should be. I'll have to check that out later. Uh, anyway... So they're saying that this did not trigger the sensor somehow. Even though, you know, it plainly... D and I have proof that it, he did not have it on him. I mean... Receiver on Shuichi. It's moving. So in case someone moved the bookcase, it would notify Shuichi. Um, I'll look, yeah, like I said, I'll look at it later. I, I can't look at it right now. Um, right now I'm having trouble on this one here. Haha. <laughs> I don't think it's the class, lookout classroom. Kaede and Shuichi were on lookout in the classroom near the stairs to the base. Well, Shuichi left briefly. Is it this one? Maybe? Maybe it's lookout classroom. Apparently I have proof. I'm trying to think what it could be. I have evidence that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. The security sensor was armed, but... Okay, I'll check it out another time. Maybe the site's just down temporarily. Out, had it the whole time. I need to figure out who I'm trying to the spoof here. Heard came from the sensor when Shuichi... Nope, that's still not it. I'm gonna fail already. Oh. I'm already failing badly. The security sensor was armed, but... The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had Your entrance time. photo? The sound heard now, of course, I'm assuming it's this. It's Korea Kyo. It may not, may not even be him. Nope. I don't think it's him even. I, I probably got to do the first on uh, Kokichi's. Probably. The security sensor was armed, but... The moving bookcase isn't what triggered Okay, the hidden... It's the Ivy hidden door one. Shuichi had it the whole time. Because uh, when he came in, that doesn't matter. We were trying to get it to... The sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it. In order Krona, to don't do anything. Just to let you know. Like I said... So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. I, I, I gotta get past this part at least. Okay, the bookcase moved. The security sensor was on. It's gotta be Kokichi's, I think. The moving book. <laughs> there, that's the one. No, that's wrong. I just had to get my re I had to get the reason in my head going. There we go. I was going after the wrong guy. Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then we wouldn't have been able to take that picture. 
It's just usually it's not the first one. Also, I'm a dummy. He's got nothing. I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. You're giving up that easily? Holy shit, she's got weird faces. Yeah, I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken. So you see? Shuichi can't be the culprit. Now wait just a minute. What do you got? The security sensor had a power supply. So what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. Yes. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. Why? Huh? How come? That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's going to check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. Nah. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. Nah, because we have the picture of him taking it. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Nah. How needlessly complicated. I guess it's not impossible. Then, we cheat complicated? Right? Dude, you need to meet Nagito. You want complicated? Talk to him. <laughs> That's not even close to complicated. The detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Shuichi, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Why are you being quiet, though? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're... Not culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. And then everyone dies. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in? Also, technically, they would have. Uh, Ultimate Detective covers their tracks better. What should I do? Everyone suspects Shuichi. There's no way he's the culprit, but even so. Why won't Shuichi say anything? Is there a reason he won't say anything? That's the case. That's all up to me. Protect everyone. I need to take control of this debate. Even if that means I have to lie to do it. Lie? Did you hear that? A lie? Now I know that sounds crazy. Telling a lie in a class trial. What? Well, well. But something. Sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. Oh, but don't worry. There are no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. Before you had to refute the lies, but now you'll have to lie yourself. Doesn't that get your heart pumping? Lie bullet? Here's how it works. Select the truth bullet like normal. Non-stop debates. But when you hold right click, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet with the opposing opposite meaning. When you hold right click, releasing the right mouse button will shoot the lie bullet. When you use the lie bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury. A statement that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence gauge will drain a successful lie will restore it. But if you miss it with your lie button, with your lie bullet, you'll take damage, so be careful. Also, I've heard a rumor that there's a secret way to advance debates. It's called the back route. What? I just say that only those who lie well will be able to find it. Thank you, m m Muchly. Uh, that's barely an explanation of that part, but okay. Uh, let's stop debate start. So what's my lie? Moving bookcase route. Okay. Let's go over the case one more time. Okay. Security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Mm hmm. Shuichi also had the receiver. I guess I gotta lie about him having the receiver then. And so when Rantaro moved I'm assuming that's my lie. A picture was taken without the alarm sound. Maybe. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer. Shuichi hid in the library and murdered that shit out of Rantaro. Holy shit. What's with the text here? And then he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase. And return to the lookout spot. Afterward, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Oh, I mean, they pretty much get. Whoa, a shit, a Tua. Silence, poo hoo hoo. Alright. The basis for their suspicion is that Switchy had the receiver for the security sensor. If I can argue against that, everything should be okay. 
I have to retake control. I have to tell a lie so we can get closer to the truth. Alright, this is gonna be weird. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, I lied. Alright. Sounds like the new non-stop debate soundtrack that was added in this game with chanting added to it. I forgot to tell you something important. So basically, what you're explaining about lying is that it's basically... Wait, back groups are optional lies. Sometimes you have to lie and it sometimes will be optional. Back group adds only... Adds extra dialogue to the conversation so you don't lose anything through it. The game doesn't explain, but you can lie only when a specific soundtrack called Purge is playing in the background. Interesting. Wonder why they don't explain it. Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. Lying is illegal. Hmm. Only for caught. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. That's how it works, I think. Is this true, Kaede? Uh, of course. Come on, would I lie to you guys? Yes, but they don't know that. That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Oh, wait, it almost happened before Hina did it. Quickly. Except she was trying to lie to get everyone killed. Are only for meat bags. That is a harmful stereotype. Stereotyping. I produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Oof. It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind and faced with radiant. Ooh, it's love, isn't it? Doing anything for the one you love. This is weird. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? <laughs> I most certainly have at least. Have you? That sounds creepy. How creepy you are. I'm sure that person hey. didn't want your love. She said that too. I don't know how I think about that. You're pretty buddy buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. Oof. Well, he saw right through it. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Oh, so aren't you the ultimate liar then, technically? I guess well, not. You can be good at lying. Think? To believe or not to believe. All right, have Kaede. fun, Carbon. Um, I do want to believe Kaede. But Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now. Yep. Which is he would know that, Sophia. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! Thanks, Carbon. See you later, too. Love you, too. No. I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. For I have not done my calculations properly. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right. I agree. Atua told me. But I don't know if Atua agrees. Because right now it's his nap time. Okay, cool. This is quite troublesome. It seems our I mean, if it's only extra dialogue, I guess it's not the biggest thing. How are we supposed to decide? We're split right down middle. I mean, trying to time the soundtrack to the lie is like the strangest thing I've ever heard, truthfully. And I don't think I have that type of coordination to do it. Oh shit! Monokuma's upset. Did you just say split? Oh, here's where we're coming now. I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! Yeah. All right, I've heard of this concept, but it's time to see how it actually works in practice. Trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that. Either way, we have to do something. We can't vote for Shuichi because he's definitely not the culprit. If we vote for him, all hope is lost. I won't be able to save everyone, but I haven't lost hope yet. I won't give up. Before I can save everyone, I need to make sure we're all on the same page. Alright, you're split down the middle. At times like this, debate scrums are perfect. In a debate scrum, you will be split into two teams. I have heard of this. Then you argue your opinions against each other. But look, everyone's so fired up. The subjects of your statements don't match up. 
What's with the question marks on that one? Interval, together, alibi, lie, receiver. Time, influence, opposing subject, and opposing subject keyword. That's not how you debate at all. You have to match your subject with your opponent and put them in the correct order. Oh boy. That's how you make a good debate. Your side subject keywords will be displayed, but your opponent's subjects will won't be revealed yet. Listen closely for the subject of your opponent's arguments. Before your opponent finishes their statement, use W and S to find the same subject keyword. I have a feeling I am going to struggle on this one. Yeah, like, but like I said, that seems like a very, like, that seems like a second run type of thing to do when you're more familiar with the game and how it works and know all the trials. Then you can get those things, but for a first run, I think we are, like, for me, who's not usually very good at these trials anyway, as you'll see, because you haven't really experienced me playing a trial, and right-click to argue the subject with the same keyword. If you and your opponent's arguments match, then your opponent's keywords will be revealed. And when all the statements match up, you will enter the finale. Try to convince all your opponents at once. Rapidly tap the key displayed on the screen to push your opponent's claim out. Don't get pushed back. Push their claim out for a perfect refutation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is going to be tough for me because I'm not prepared. I've heard this music before. I know the music and I know about the idea, but I have never actually seen it before. So it's time for the first scrum debate. Yeah, I know they are. You should have seen me with the crossing swords and dang and rompa too. I really did not know what to do in that. I get the idea though. Basically, I'm supposed to quickly match the word and then without basically what they describe, I'm supposed to pick a word and match it. That's all I know. How to actually play it is different. Shuichi is the culprit. Shuichi isn't the culprit. All right. What you knew about the camera intervals, Shuichi. Intervals. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito! Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi. Uh huh. She? Shuichi and Kaede went together the whole time. Together. together. Both of them were together when the receiver went off. Yes, okay. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been discovered. Receiver. Kaede is the one who actually okay. had the receiver. Okay. Hey, pick it! That's Kaede's line. Lie. We'll know whether or not it's a I missed one, it's unfortunately. I don't have it repeats. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. If our points don't match, then we won't be able to make a convincing argument. I'm going to convince everyone that. Okay, I have to do it all in one shot, probably, right? You hid what you knew about the okay, it's like in. Okay, there we go. The oh, the great papyrus is here. Like oh shit. Intervals. Uh, shit, I messed it up. Sorry. I have to redo it again. Sorry, I got confused. I got confused on the first one. This because he has the receiver. Yeah, I know. Why? I know. Okay, let me do that again. This time it's intervals. You hid what you knew about the camera. All right, there we go. But Mew was silent about intervals too. Mhm. Mm That's his argument. Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. All right, alibi. Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Oh, really? Together. Okay, now it just matches at uh, the rest of it. If Shuichi had the receiver. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am the great papyrus. Lie. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. There we go. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, D. Okay, wow. Full counter. Damn. I was throwing it when I pressed the buttons. So when's hang Hangman's Gambit? <laughs> if that happens, everyone will be executed. Come on, don't we all like Hangman's Gambit? I definitely won't let that happen, even if it costs me. Especially my after Dang and Rampa too. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. 
Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gonta, Gonta gentlemen. Always believe in friends. Gonta, big man who like bug. Don't squish bug though. If Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Huh? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. He's hiding in fall. Because you realize something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. I thought so. Shuichi, answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared. This is new music. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? Picture? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious the way Rantaro was acting. That was weird. Hmm? What's suspicious? What was he grabbing at, right? Or why he realized it? Picture. It looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. Grill be the fire element, man. All the uh, Undertale guys. Uh, oh, I played when we were in the manhole. Sorry, but the manhole uh, was a while, like what three streams ago. So it's been a while. I forget things sometimes. Maybe I just didn't notice it because I was in the manhole. But that must mean he noticed the camera he set up. Maybe he was purposely he was purposely supposed to notice it, right? And remove something. Well, it's the first time I noticed. Sometimes I don't notice music right away. Maybe it's because it made a bit more like, uh... Hoy, it's Tem. Hey, Temmy. Are you guys ready for the uh, ending of the trial? Something was put there, obviously. Yeah, you're confusing everyone. Just explain it, please. Contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. This picture? Let's see, Shuichi knows. The reason why. Okay, sensor, the camera flash? I get it. Okay, yeah, the camera flash. I may have heard it a little bit because Porkchop likes to play it in the. Uh, Avocado boy? Wait, is there a joke I'm missing here? You weren't here for the previous stream, so I don't know why we call Avocado boy. Yes. The flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? Because of how bright it is? If you compare it to the other pictures that we have. Remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. I thought the flashes were couldn't be turned off at first, but maybe I was misremembering something. Front tail. And this is the picture of bright light. Whoa! The brightness is totally different. Little horror says, "Hello, I don't think I've seen you ever before." His hair is green. Oh my God, pick it. Oh, I see. Maybe? Because out of avocados are green. Because they didn't want it to be hidden, obviously. Nope. By the way, I gotta turn this music volume down afterwards. Can I do it now? Uh, yeah, because the music's kind of loud. I, this is the problem with a lot of the Danganronpa games I've been finding. Option. No, you know what? Keep the music. I'll put the voices up, if anything. Uh, I hope this is a good level. Alright, hopefully that's better. That camera was placed for another 
Really? It's still so low. Wow. Under Swamp Papyrus. Wow. What's with all the Undertale people coming into a dang and romper stream? That is weird. Yeah, but I, I turned up the voices and that didn't seem to have an effect. Hopefully this works. I put the voices all the way up. Another reason, huh? Uh, to take a picture of the match and line up to lure the mastermind closer. I get it. Obviously. Why wouldn't it be? The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. Yeah, and who set that up, Kaede? So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. Evil That's music. Exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. Oh, man, you get Alphys? She loves anime? This is kind of anime. Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Yeah, about... You, the culprit was, was you, you basically said what the culprit was thinking. Do you know who the culprit is? Hey, pork chop, you finally came in. Pork chop, I've been invaded. Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. Hmm? Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is. Got Shuichi. It's Kaede. No doubt about it. She just basically what, what does she even realize what she's talking about? Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. I'm sorry. Well, what? Everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? What I is going it. on here? Hello, Dr. Alphys. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. Damn, I have no idea what's going on in here. It's cool, but I what the sounds. You can trust me. I will make your wish. Could you not like whisper? I don't think the settings work that well in this game. Oh, they tell pa telepathically communicating. Kaede is hello, the hello, Napsta. Napsta. Hello, new person. Kaede did it. Wait, that's not possible, right, Kaede? Telepathy. Apparently. Kaede. Wait, did she really? <laughs> Just kidding. Huh? What? Just kidding. Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Shh, come on, guys. Like I could. When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? Feels like her that, personality changed a bit. Library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Oh, you're a ghost? Goddamn. I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Didn't have to meet up. Yes. I like them. No way Kaede could be culprit. Whoa, why did the message get retracted? Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even that strong is weird. enough to throw that shot? My hands are Didn't have to throw. strong enough to play piano. It fell. Accusing you of being the culprit is. <laughs> yep, it's wrong. 
Shuichi's just joking around. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm just surprised it took you so long to talk, Pork Chop. Also, why did the message get retracted? Did they retract it themselves? Right, Shuichi, no matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. She feels different now. I understand, Kaede. You want me to reel the truth, don't you? Uh, hi, Picket. Oh, you saying hi to Pork Chop. I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know who the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Ah, uh, they retracted themselves, I see. Think of everyone you're helping and let that be your strength. Joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rendon. Ooh, confidence. Oh no! Oh, you spelled person wrong. If you spell person wrong, it's fine. I understood what you said. What the hell did you just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Also, I'm scared now. There's a ghost in the chat. Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot clip off. It was placed. It should be I'd... clear when you consider where she used I mean, the vent is a possibility, but I don't see how that was even possible because of the way the books were stacked. Unless... Yo, Asgore Dreamer, how is all these people finding this stream from, like, un... I'm not even streaming Undertale. Where she used the shot clip off? You guys. Unless people just rename themselves, actually. It could be. I don't know. She looks nervous. Kaede wants me to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. So I can't back down. I need to fulfill her wish. I need to fight for the truth. Protagonist change, by the way. Non-stop debate. Start. It's, it could be the vent. Shot put ball. I have an alibi. Wait, shot put When Rantaro was killed... I was in the classroom, standing- The first reveal in the background music that Mono could have played to encourage everyone to start the killing game. It was on full volume until the murder occurred. Hmm. Unlikely. Hey, let's listen to the entire thing. Watch with Shuichi. Ayede never saw Rantaro. And how she kill him? I don't think the peripheral VG has anything. The shot. We know that it was in the library. Oops. Was killed in the library after all. Yeah. That's the only explanation. In which case, Ugh. it's impossible for me to be the culprit. Look out, classroom. Kaede wants me to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. We'll let her down. I won't find the answer by killing her. Makoto and Draga. Huh? I have an alibi. Hmm. When Rantaro was killed. Yeah. I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Kind of, yeah. They never saw Rantaro. How she kill him? What's the blaze shot put ball? The bloody murder weapon found on the floor in the library. It seems to be the same as the shot put balls in the warehouse. It's important to establish where the culprit Oi. used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Was ah. in the library after all. Yeah. No, actually, I think I understand case, it. Maybe. Look out, classroom. On the last one, I think is. I have an alibi. Mm-hmm. When Rantaro was killed. Mm-hmm. I was in the classroom, standing. See, that one's true. Kaede never saw Rantaro. Yeah. How she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Was killed in the library. That's true, yes. That's the only explanation. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. Okay, I know which one it is. It's her lie with the classroom thing, I think. I have an alibi. When Rantaro I think I know which one it is. I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Like I said, that is true. Never saw Rantaro. I think it's the second one. How she kill him? I think it's this one. It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. It was the vent, but I'm, I look at the books and I can't understand that one. Coyote didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime. He used it at the first floor classroom where we were keeping. How would you even time that? Hold on. How could she have hit Rantara with a shot from a different floor? She rolled it. People are leaving. <laughs> I feel like you can kind of, but I'm not good enough to distinguish who's who with it because noise no, for me is it's probably easier when you can observe it, but when I'm just trying to figure out what's going on in the case, it's harder for me to figure it out. And I'm a robot. It was a magic, shot yeah. magic, everything's magic. Possible. Only I have magic. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. Yeah, but that's some bizarre timing, I must say. So it seems you already knew about that. I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't want to know. But I can't turn away from the truth. The place where she rolled the shot put ball to move it from the classroom to the library. It's gonna be the vent I have to select here. I know this. You need to deduce a keyword. You will be thrown into the Hangman's Gambit version 3.0. Oh boy, Hangman's Gambit. Don't we all love Hangman's Gambit? The objective is to select the letter orbs in the right order to create a keyword. Left click to activate the flash spot to read the illuminated letter orbs. Oh god. Oh god. And with the oof right away, I know this is going to be bizarre. By the way, people. As uh, just in case, if you want to see more streams from me, I, stre I take game requests. If you have it, that's how you don't... I have a Discord for the channel. So if you ever want to uh, have some fun chats with us uh, outside the streams, or especially for requesting games, this is where you do it. I might as well plug it in case anyone wants to join it. Alright then. While letters are illuminate, you will not be able to actually see a letter orb. So make sure to, you remember where they are and right click to get the letter orb. But remember, you have to select them in the correct order. Yeah. Deduce the keywords from the letter orbs that you can see in a flash spot. The flash spot uses focus energy, so use it wisely. Waves of light will also occasionally cross the screen, so if you can read the letter orbs then, so take advantage of that as well. Thank you for listening to me. Okay, so at the... Vent. Eh, I mean, it's easy on the first one, obviously. The... Because the, the, I know in the, sec the second game, it gets way too hectic sometimes. If you would have rolled a shot in there, it would reach the library. I see. That air depth connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent. Passes through the duct. And it rolls along the books somehow? out of the air vent the library it has to go up and down. How do you get enough momentum? That's what just confuses me. But how could she hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. So it was just a coincidence? What kind of coincidence is that? That is bizarre. That's the one thing that confuses me about it. What a mystery. Is it a mystery? I can't cosplay it. No, I already know the answer to that as well. It was no coincidence. The corporate set it up that way intentionally. If I remember correctly, there was something off about her then. Damn it. How could I not realize it? It's too late to regret the past. I said I wouldn't back down. I made a promise. I'm going to kill her. Doesn't that make you a killer technically? Are you kill someone based off of this? This is the, obviously the uh, stacked book, which again is weird. Magic shot, so I know who that was. Ugh. It's not like it started rolling on its own. It didn't. I think I have to. I think I have to agree with that one. Nope. Imagine if he did that. That'd be crazy, cartoon stuff. Holy shit! It moved on its own? That was a creepy one, too. Whoa, damn. Everything's moving so fast. 
Why are you look like you're thinking? Hmm. Don't lose sight of the truth. I disagree. Okay. I need to answer for her sake. I can't turn away from the truth. I know which one it is. It's the stacked books. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Magic shot. Impossible. Boom. Consent. <laughs> Shuichi looked happy in that one. That's rare. Things gonna look happier from now on after he kills his best buddy. That is still bizarre, but okay. Along the, bookcase? the bookcase? Hold on a second. I did say that, but with the shot of rolled that conveniently. Stacked books. Nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. He used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. Is that a picture or something? That looks like nothing. The path was directed by books. How would that even work? Ah, it would be easier to explain with a floor plan of the library. Oh, that's right. Someone did have a floor plan. In fact, that might be concrete proof of my theory. I remember one of them. Oh shit! Who's good at drawing it? Was it? Oh, 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 was it you? Oh, it wasn't her. It was Mew. I forgot. It was Mew. I forgot what happened. No, no. I know. I remember now. It's with her drone. It's Mew. It's ready, right? That's it. I, to, I That was just a stupid guess. I recall that during the investigation. Like I said, it's been a week. You said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. Oh yeah! What happened with that? Did you get it? Uh, I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. If you have the photos, why you need Oh yeah, because you gotta put it together, that's why. Let's look at it. Maybe we all find clue. Please, Mew. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. What a bitch. Hola. Feast your eyes on these babies. That's an odd thing to say, but okay. Wow, okay, come. Wow, that's bizarre. That's impossible to notice. It's Here it is. That is... You can't notice that. That's why the books looked weird. What is? See? The books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Antaro's body was found. Oh! Shuichi is right! Indeed. They are stacked like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. Because you can't see that, obviously. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes. Now, I hadn't noticed those open books on the CG scene, but someone else did. He's not here today, though. Man, my viewers dropped massively. Ooh, drawing. It's like all the, it's like all the Undertale people came in and then said, Oh, it's not Undertale. And then left. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. How do you even time that? And you did that, right, Kaede? We made sure the vent was open. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how does it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. Impressive. You have a really good memory, Shuichi. Dunk, dunk, dunk. The shot came through. The stacked books made a change direction. Wow, they up up the budget. They made a paper animation of a ball rolling. were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. But damn, that's some velocity of the blood. At the same time, the books blocked the shot. That's like a view. splatter shot. Then, when the ball was directly above Rancaro, it changed direction, rolled along the groove of the open books, and fell on top of his head. I mean, that's a stretch to be able to set that up and assuming that it's gonna work, but okay. And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. 
A setup that complicated is almost like a real yes. machine. That was mentioned earlier. So Kaede created this mechanism? Well, it would be... Wait, even with the Rube, whatever setup, when did she roll the ball into the duct? The video, probably. Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? Very risky. You gotta set up so... You gotta assume so many variables to get that to work. This class trial, I think, so far is the biggest stretch I've ever seen in all of them. Even Nagito's makes more sense. Yeah, that's just because he was lucky. When did Kaede roll the shot put ball? Had to have been just the right time to kill Rantaro. I'm gonna say when Shuichi went to the basement. Maybe? They haven't done that long, I've been. Okay. No. Damn it! And it's the last one, probably. When she entered the. When she was leaving the classroom, then. That's the only one. It was either when he was gone or when she was leaving. I just wasn't sure. The moment we ran out of the classroom. Did she stay for an extra few seconds? I don't even remember. When the sensor went off, I ran out first. And then Kaede followed. But just before she left. Shuichi, the receiver. Someone moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede. She, Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of the true ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. That vent was... That's still very bizarre. Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all I dropped everything. Your words, and that smile. Anyway, whatever. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on, don't just jump to conclusions. Oh, you got a crush on her? I've still got a lot of questions. Do I still have to do the, uh... That's weird. Why do you sound so desperate? I love her. There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. She inspired hope in me, only to break it. Gonta not believe it either. Gonta not smart, though. I know, I shouldn't mock Gonta. Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. Alright, what do we got going on here? Everyone's things are moving around. Rantaro's belongings. Holy shop. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. Either the belongings or the other one. Or the promotional BGM. Ah. Library should have been quiet, right? Boom. Right away, I knew what to do on that one, so I didn't even wait for the rest of the dialogue. Even though I should have, it could have been something interesting. The murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. So the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Could you speak louder? Oh. So that's ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot. See, her voice is fine. I feel like Shuichi is like whispering. Uh, she did it at this time. When the video was playing, it wasn't quiet. Easy. Everyone's voice is fine. Shuichi sure is a quiet mouse. Kaito, are you done now? Damn it. So it's true then? So we still have to convince Gonta though. You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. Why do you look so happy? Your zipper That's looks correct. like a mouth. I was with her in the classroom. And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end-to-end -end with colored stacks of books. This is nothing. As I moved the ladder, I reorganized the books bit by bit. Jeez, there are way too there are too many books. Might be too hard to set up a camera here. Hmm, I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but it really, it's alright. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the thing that kind of... You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? I looked back at a previous video and I realized that was a thing. I didn't, when she said I put everything in my bag. Kaede, is something wrong? You need to go before Mew changes her mind. Shuchi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding in my backpack and ran after him. See that? Because that one there, I didn't realize she was still holding the shot put at the time. So you were hiding it the entire time? 
That's a heavy bag then. Where would she have even hidden it? Her bag. Where did Kaida keep it? Could only be one place. Backpack skirt. In her skirt. That's it. Or her shirt make her look bigger chested. Or have a third pack. Breast. Carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. How much does a shot put weigh anyway? I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. Hey, I noticed your eyes not showing through your hair. That's not typical anime of you. That clears it all up then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? You know? She's preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood. No, something still doesn't fit. Mm. Hmm. What doesn't fit? Huh? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you. I think he means the motive. Did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder in cold blood is just not. I know it's gonna come to. Technically, she was doing to protect everyone. I can't believe that. I believe in her. But why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why. Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you goes deeper than that. It's gonna lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. I mean, I can guess why. I know, this is getting crazy, right? But it's time for another tutorial. Your opponent is on the ropes, but they're in an argument armament mode and won't listen to you. Is this basically like the, uh, let them remove their armaments to refute what they are saying? That's how argument armament works. The objective is to completely destroy- What the hell is this? It's another rhythm game, but it looks very different. Objective is to completely destroy your opponent's armaments, and then strike the finishing blow. You match the rhythm to shoot down your opponent's statements to damage the armament. Rhythm, durability, time, influence, focus, gauge, tension gauge. The markers on the top of your opponent's statements are called rhythm sites. Right when the gauge makes one revolution, press the correct key to shoot the statement. Oh god. It actually is a rhythm game now. When damaged enough, their armament will break and the music will change. Tempo will also pick up, so match the timing. Can't get on rhythm? Try pressing spacebar to activate fever time, which I'm gonna wait. During fever time, you'll be invincible and you can press any key. Press the any key? Where's the any key? You can only activate it when your focus energy is full, so watch it carefully. When your opponent's ar armament is destroyed, you can give your final argument. Your argument will be displayed with four words. Yeah, I know. Bone, meat on the bone. Oh god. Press the keys in the correct order to land a finishing blow. Use split second logic to refute your opponent's final argument. Yeah, split second all right. That's usually the hardest part, I'd say. As always, it was a pleasure. All right, I gotta get my W A S D. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, I see. Okay, I see now. You have to wait till I. So far, only A and B. They're making it easy. Ah! I'm the one who killed Rantaro. That's the truth of this case. Okay, so it. That's all there is to it. Can't really talk during this segment. Ah! More armament destroyed. Oh what shit! You? you have to fight for the truth. What? Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then don't Whoa. look away from the truth. Please. What was that about? Just stop. Remember what I told okay, you. hold on a sec. You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. Ah, man. Shit. 
What am I doing on that last one? Final blow. Okay, I guess I'm just pressing buttons. You know what I was trying to do? The... Oh, shit. I know what the... Okay, I know what it is now. Do you know what I was trying to do? Kill the mastermind. That is really. Sp I got so confused with certain things on that. I think of you the WASD stuff. And you weren't trying to save yourself. What you were trying to do was kill the mastermind. It's hard to get used to that rhythm type game. Kill the mastermind. I bet it's going to get very complicated later on. She was targeting the mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I see. Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. Hmm, so she kind of saved everyone. So she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. My fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Stop. It's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you end all of this? What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. All right, closing argument time. And then, I want you to end this. That's my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the Alright, see how they do the it this time. I want to help. I want to help you grant Kaide's wish. I'll now explain the closing argument. The final piece of detective work to the end is trial. Oh boy. In the closing argument, you will wrap up the case. You'll have to reprodu reproduce the order of the events in the case in the form of a comic book, manga. But this recreation is just Shuichi's deduction, so there are gaps here and there. Gaps are areas where a number of pieces are missing. Select the paddles with the WASD and then use the mouse to move the cursor over the gaps. And then right click to fit the panel in the empty space. Only the correct panel will, will fit. Compare the empty space hints with the stock panel hints to complete the comic. There will be some panels that you cannot select at first. Filling in some gaps quickly will unlock the other panels, so it's like number two. Use the Q and E to switch pages. You start filling as many as you can. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's try this out. Okay, what do we got? Oh, what the? What the hell? Kaito, Gonta, and Tenko. Who wanted to fight against Monokuma? Okay, so... Who wanted to fight against Monokuma after hearing the additional motive? Gonta... Wait, what? Okay, yeah, okay, I see. They wanted to. And then flip the page. Okay, I see. Who was asked to modify the cameras is Mew. But I might not have that one yet. Oh, shit. Open the encyclopedia. Okay, I don't have that one yet. Who? What was the murder weapon found in the warehouse? Uh, Rantaro Flash. Oh, it's this one. Shot put balls. This is a weird music. What did the cover do with the library's vent? Prop of the great vent. Uh-huh. Here, we have two. Okay, let's see. What did the cover do with the, the modified camera? Turn on the flash. Also open out to view. Security sensor receiver goes off. This one here. What books did the cover set up last the open books open encyclopedia this one here what happened in the classroom one hour before the time limit killing game promotional video 
Nope. Oops, sorry. What happened an hour? Here it's boom. Whoop, whoop. Where was the shop put put? It was put in the classroom vent. Alright. Whose picture was taken with the camera? It was Rantaro, obviously. Rantaro knows it's the flash. Mm, no. Yes. Rantaro knows it's the flash. Here. Why was it? Okay, this one's the uh, promotional video. Boom, crack his head open. After receiving one, what did Shuichi see in the library? Okay, here, here, here. What happened an hour before the time limit? I guess it's the sensor went off. Yeah. Did I miss anything back here? I think I did. Yes, here. Who was asked to modify the camera? Bow to Mew. I believe there's nothing else left here. Okay. I only have one left. Let's see went off. What did Shuichi see in the library? The bookcase I returned. There we go. This is the truth Got it. Monokuma. Two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive, the time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement. Some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. Mm-hmm. I had my own plan to find the Gray guy is not great, he's black this time. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. The music during the manga making process, though, is kind of a disappointment because we've already heard. Isn't it just the main music for the uh, when you're walking around, like a variation? It's not even like I kind of missed the other one, or and they could have made a different version of it. I feel like maybe that's just me. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras. She in a chair? That's like up in the air? Yeah, she is in a chair. That's almost an upskirt. We went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right. Thunk. The shot put I thunk about it. Shh. I found a camera. Put it in. They put the cameras as well as the shot in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder... Yeah, it looks like some grass on the bottom of the library floor. Unless it is, and I wasn't paying attention. Actually, yeah, there's foliage all over anyway. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Dot or is it a oh, stud? I read it wrong. Then they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After um, they open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. Um, it appeared innocuous enough. But it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one, I didn't even notice their trick. 
You know, at first I thought that th I thought there was an explanation that they couldn't be closed as flashes, but I guess I thought wrong. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. Again, it's been a while. We kept a lookout. By the way, I'm on stream four, and I only just gained to the end of the first trial. During the stakeout. We saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them. The first victim. I mean, this whole thing is kind of a stretch when you think about it, Krona, because it's like, how do you even time any of that? Beep. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. How long was he there? Oh, the camera! I noticed the camera! Maybe Rantaro was just an idiot. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Rantaro gets distracted by flashing. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. Dun 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 dun. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack. I mean, that's a stretch, I find. Musical timing does not equal practical timing, necessarily. You see, this seems more like a luck thing. Also, wouldn't she have to assume that video was going to play for it to really work out? Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. Chink. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with a flash on. He's a pretty boy. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. I guess we'll never learn his ultimate. Ah, eh, we probably will. Ah, eh, who knows? Maybe we won't. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. It also stood in place and rolled. It technically rolled in place. And it fell. Came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the Man, it's an obsession with a hoge that I'm I don't know. I didn't even know that was a thing originally in anime. I don't think that would have as that music again. Dangin' Rumpa, apparently. Crack. The shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. I think that should have busted his head open. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. Oh? What do we see, Rantaro? I imagine. Seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought. That's not what I wanted. The mastermind is dead. Oh. The game is over. Now we can all go home. To San Monokuma. But their wish didn't come true. Because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder. In an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. It's like whoopsies. Her face is weird in this one. The ultimate pianist. And nary a piano used. I'm disappointed a piano didn't fall on someone's head. And that concludes the events of this case. No. Kayede did it? Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Everyone hated her, I thought, though. What Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us. And I firmly believe that. Wait, didn't everyone hate her for the sewer thing at this point? If that was a lie, too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. 
You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No, that's not true, Kaede. You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. Oh, did I skip something by accident? Expect any less. Hold on, hold on. I, I didn't expect this. Let me see if there are any other lines there quickly, because I, I thought something went by quickly. Shit, how did that go so fast? What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be God more... Damn, I missed that text because I was like... It just kind of went too fast. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Because now it's up to you. Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? Because you're now the pr protagonist. If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! And here comes Monokuma. Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! Alright, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. And by termination, I mean your head gets chopped off. At last, the heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! Whoa, time! damn, that was loud. Do you hate Tenko? Oh, wait, I actually have to vote here? Oh, Kaede. Wait, I actually had to vote? That's rare. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Pork chop. Then, let's see the result. What's the point of voting when you're at that point? I was if you Why is there Oh wait, cuz it's uh, Rentaro who didn't vote. What happens if you choose the wrong one, though? Is that like, uh, you just game over it? Alternate ending? Verdict. It's the Wheel of Death. Or the Wheel of Blackened. Monies everywhere. You really hate Tenko, don't you, Krona? Eh, should I find out? A A A A A A B. Miss minus seven hundred. Retry perfect. A testimonials. First class trial. Shuichi Saihara. Final result. Obtain two hundred one coins. I get details. What details? Score twenty one fifty one. Time remaining. Three minutes and thirty five seconds. Mean. Okay. Next. 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 Damn you. Oh, she hates you? What do you mean she hates you? Absolutely. Well, at this point, it goes without saying, but you all voted correctly. The blackened one who killed Rantara on Amami is the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. Why is she keep looking like that? Good. What? What? Good? What do you mean, good? Is this how you want it to end? That's not, true. not really, but it could have turned out a lot worse. So this is fine, too. It. It's like that, uh meme of the girl or not the girl I, I have one with the anime girl uh with the dog this is fine in the fire it's not fine this is super horrible the worst ever <laughs> yeah how did it come to this uh yeah i had your clothes on please kaide what would possess you to do something like this <sighs> going to can no can accept this not unless you explain really? yeah i won't be satisfied until i hear it straight from you hey. kaide please Okay, please allow me a few more moments of your time then. It's just like Shuichi said. I was after the mastermind this entire time. I wanted to kill the mastermind and I thought doing that would end the killing game. But, but why did you try to kill them? Maybe you could, they could have been captured. Um, if it hadn't been for the time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit meant that capturing the mastermind was less likely to work, you know? 
because the mastermind could have just played dumb to run out the clock and kill us all. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Therefore. Kibo? Man. So you sought to kill the mastermind instead? That's right. I had made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let that chance pass me by. I had to save everyone no matter what. Even if you had to kill someone? Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I really believed it too. Kaide. But... Oh, Kaide. Never dawned on you? As soon as that thought entered your head, Monokuma had you right where he wanted. Because what mattered most to Monokuma was is that the killing game started. You really don't Regardless care. of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to the, be part of this killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. To put it like that... But he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game finally started. Uh, no. But if Kaide hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Right. Kaide, save everyone. We no can blame her. You don't need to remind me! That's why I'm so pissed off. Pissed off at myself for being so... so useless. Um... Kokichi, that's enough. I can see through your act. Yeah. Whoops, that obvious, huh? That's right. But Kokichi is right. I was being played. And I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was so terrible. So unforgivable. I took an innocent life. I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. You should all hate me. Hate, blame, and be disgusted by me. Kaide, please calm down. Uh, After we found Rantaro's body, and I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done. But I couldn't, because of Monokuma's first blood perk. Your... I see. If you'd confessed there and then, you would have been able to leave. But you decided you, you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. Because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. That's right. So the first blood perk worked against the black and rather than for them. But at the same time I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all so it would motivate you to keep moving forward. Then... Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? Because... I felt like if I didn't do this, then Rantaro's death would have been meaningless. Well then... We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during this trial. Oh yeah! Ah, Kaede did mention that. <laughs> But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I I'll even use this class trial to do that. I... I never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. Before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. Then the killing game would have ended and everyone but me would be saved. Uh... I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rantaro. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. What? You were wrong, but didn't you say the mastermind was one of us? Uh, That's okay. why I thought at first, but in the end we have nothing. No, no one made any moves at the time limit. The trial was useless. Let's see. Even when Shuichi was about to be voted as the blackened. Still, they did not appear. Maybe. Yeesh, that seriously was a close one. If Kaede had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now. <laughs> no way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. That's... I want to protect Kaede, but I also want to amass the mastermind. But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That has to mean that the mastermind is not among us after all. What? So Kaede had the wrong idea the whole time. I see. All her actions were taken under Shuichi's flawed logic. Uh, That's okay. why this is my fault. All this happened because my detective work was wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid, and if I had never said anything about a mastermind to Kaede, Rantaro wouldn't have had to die, wouldn't have died, and Kaede wouldn't have been a murderer. This is all my fault. That's wrong. It's, no, it's not. Huh? Kaede. Because I killed him, not you. Right? Didn't I? But but Kaede, why did you set up such a convoluted trap? If your intent was to kill the mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't it obvious? It's because she didn't want Shuichi to know. Huh? Me? Yeah. Of course, but I didn't want everyone else to know either. Because I said I want to escape this place with everyone. Because... But you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? <laughs> be friends? <laughs> Kaede put a lot of thought into this. Mm. She put so much thought into this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. <laughs> God, you're such a dumbass. Yeah. I know, right? I'm such an idiot. 
We only survived the time limit because of that idiocy. We're still alive thanks to you. Kaide, I didn't know how, but I wanted to get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. Damn. So you're saying everything you did was because you were thinking of us? And you hid that? You killed him just to stay and help us? How did things... Alright, alright, that's it. What? What do you mean? What, what do you mean that's it? Ah. Father, are you getting bored? That's right. I know how Pops gets. He can't stand for this kind of tearjerker shock. Schlock. I can't stop crying. <laughs> I see nothing gets past my adorable little cubs. <laughs> I don't even let appetizers get past me, especially if someone else bought them. Now then. But we can't let this boring display grind the action to a halt, so... Time to make things interesting. Huh? Make things interesting? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time! <laughs> Punishment? You mean, Kaede's execution? No friggin' way. There's no way we'll let you do that. Hey! Exosols assemble! Oh, the Exosols will stop them. Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here Exosols. That's cool, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. That's an odd thing to say. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I! Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. I'm, me I'm XSL, XSL tier. I don't make tier lists. Gentlemen I'm not good with that. Down, and neither will Gonta. Oh, he's barefoot. I just realized it. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Doesn't work. Yeah, I'll help. I can... What? Everyone what can Shuichi do, actually? Stop it. Please, just stop. Kaede. But Kaede. I... Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up? Why? But why? You said you'd never give up. That we get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it. So why are you giving up now? Did you mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the end. No. I'm not giving up. Because I have you. Huh? What? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all. I'm entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you! I believe that you will all will make it through this somehow. You have to live! You guys better live. Don't go dying on me now. End this ridiculous killing game. Survive and get the hell out of this place. It's a promise. And then be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll all be the best of friends. Yeah. Affirmative, Kaede. I shall take that. I will do my utmost to fulfill your final request. <laughs> I won't give up. I'll get out of here no matter what. <laughs> Going to work very hard and keep friends safe till very end. Bye. Well, Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. Well, now. now then, let's get started. Well, I have a special I punishment. A okay, he, he says it. Punishment. For the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Kaede, please don't. Hey. Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose. To this killing game. I know you can beat it. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. I believe in you. I believe in you guys. So please, believe in yourself. It's a promise. I didn't need to say it. She said it. Killing game time. Uh, you know, punishment time, not killing game time. Well, technically, killing game's been started. Boom. Oh, it's a bit faster this time. They've upgraded the 16-bit from 8-bit. Let's see how these things look. Well, boy. Around the neck. Hey, wait a minute. That's just like Leon. Almost. Li live. What happens here? Ah, skirt. Piano. I'm gonna play a piano and crush her. There's a crowd of Monokuma here for the symphony. The ultimate it was a German word, I think. Jesus Christ, you're gonna hang her? Oh, playing piano with her. For some reason, I didn't expect that. Is that supposed to be choking her to death? Wait, there's spikes behind her. I didn't notice that. Ah, uh, she's being strangled to death, I think.
That was one of the tamer punish. Oh, wait. What? Wait, what is what? Okay, she got crushed in the end, but what? Why did he get crushed? The moment it was over, my I felt my legs give out under me. What I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished and the only thing left was the fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. I don't know if we have VR to come save us this time, technically. Huh? What the? Why is Monokid... Monodam? What have you done? Oh shit, Monodam did it. <laughs> ah, gross! She puked again! But this tension ain't so bad, you know. Five feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we could stand out to use a little more tension in our lives, right, Dad? No! My sweet darling Monokid claimed as collateral damage. This is a nightmare. Really? Wah, 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 wah. I know about Danganronpa VR, but I don't have a VR set. If I set up a Patreon and you guys fund it, I'll get a VR set. <laughs> Not gonna happen. This is my. This is a nightmare. This is unacceptable. My precious cub is. On second thought, I guess it's okay. After all, I still got four more cubs. Yeah, but what's the full point if you don't have the VR? I mean, can you play without VR? I know what it is. I think you explained it last time. Phew, I'm glad you kids came in bulk. Huh? It's okay? I'm shocked. Our existence means that little, huh? What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cubs. Unless you want to end up like these sad sacks. So long, farewell. What? What in the world is this? Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about overkill. Atua. Please grant Kaede so uh, eternal repose. I can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so much. Yeah, liar. <laughs> Kaede! I don't believe him. <laughs> all this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like this that make all the killing worth it. This is... Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you? You are the worst of the worst. Does human life have so no value to you at all? I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. Because if human life wasn't precious, ending it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. There is no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment. You've surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. But I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. I won't forgive you for this. Got that? I won't ever forgive you. Spoken like a marked man. Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? What are you trying to Do you hate us? If so, have we have we done something to make you hate us? I hate you? <laughs> Who can say? Hey, That's your job to figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're going to have to work for it. Well... Though the corpse formerly known as Rantaro may have had a hunch. Huh? huh? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rantaro's hunch? <laughs> what indeed? Is... He did say he would end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Could be could that be all related to his hunch you claim he had? I wonder... What the hell is this hunch you're going on about? Spill it! I wonder... If you have no intention on telling us, then keep your mouth shut. You're focusing on Kaede instead of her dead weight victim! It's not his fault that he was useless. He would die before his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Oh well, he's dead and that's that. That's the indifference of death for you! However... He wasn't really the mastermind, was he? Really huh? Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kaidi. What? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer. <laughs> ah, I can't wait. Doing? I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next. <laughs> Damn it. You may have gotten us this time. We'll get you next time. You'll see. What is this, a cartoon villain? Why? Why are you all psyched up? That's it's nice. nice to see that at least one of you has some shoot spot around here. I have a feeling you're going to live for a while. Thanks. I'll do my best. Don't screw Shut around. the hell up. We're not going to have another killing game. 
I, Kaito Momota, am not gonna let you have your way anymore. Got it? I'm gonna punch that grin right off your face, for sure! So oh, really? That seems unlikely. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that! Damn. Urgh. Well. Anyway, you guys have a lot to think about. Yeah. Work hard and do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begun. So long. Oh, okay, not yet. Hey, hey Monodam, explain yourself. Hmm. I get that Monoku was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Because. I did it for us. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. Ah. Hey, wait, Monodam. Where are you going? It's you probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. What an interesting turn of events. <laughs> and they're just gone. And with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and only we remained in the courtroom. I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm going to go crazy. No. Tsumugi. I want to say Tsumiki, because it's like... Tsumugi's an odd name. You mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> Kaede. What kind of degenerate male cries in public? So rude. Um. But Tenko... You're crying too. I'm a female. Hey. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Prayer time. In times like this, we should pray for Kaede's soul so she can rest in peace. What? How's anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's enough. Ah, shut up, shut up. You all just need to shut up. Kaido's voice boomed in the air and the room went silent. Damn. Every single one of you. You and your meek little complaints. You're pissing me the hell off. Damn it. But the one who's pissing me off the most Dumbass. is you, Shuichi. Huh? What? Pow! He got hit. Bam! Punch, punch your teeth! Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him. Didn't you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. That she passed her wish onto you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma! You call yourself a man?! He might be transitioning! Oops. I shouldn't say that. You're not supposed to joke about that stuff. Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already! Yes. I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? Enough, Kaito. Mm -hmm. Sucker Pudgy is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. You better knock it off or I'm gonna explode my Neo Aikido all over your face! <laughs> That's an odd thing to say, but okay. Maybe he likes that. Fine. Are you okay? Shuichi, are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonta not sure of waste of time, but Gonta agree. Fighting not good. Then... Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> I... well put. I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. You all should go ahead without me. Um... I'm gonna kill someone! Uh, no. Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, I want to be alone for a while, just for a little bit. What? We can't just leave you here by yours, no. Sumugi. Perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy for now. <sighs> okay, I suppose. Shuichi, don't beat yourself up, okay? Yeah. Yep, just the reset button on your feelings and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time. Listen. Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey! Gonta will go back too. Let Gonta know if you need his help, okay? All the footsteps. One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator. Except... I mean... Shuichi, I don't know how well you knew Kaede, but why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set the room up, so it's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But there should at least be a bunch of little things she liked. Things okay. Kaede liked. Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's going to be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's going to help you, it'll be her. In your memories. Tenko is so unlikable. I don't know, remember, uh... Remember Fuyuhiko? We could have a change type thing? Probably not. I don't think they're going to repeat Fuyuhiko, because Fuyuhiko was very unlikable at the beginning, if you remember. With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking and I was headed toward the ultimate pianist research lab. 
We never really learned much about the research lab, but they did make a big deal about it. I mean, it's basically what I expected, except there's a lot of CDs, I think. It's not as if there would be any memories here. But there are things she was really passionate about. And that's good enough for now. What a magnific magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it, if only just once. Ah, that reminds me. The song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere. I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. Fuyuhiko hated without discriminating. Well, no, I mean, I mean in the sense that most people don't like Fuyuhiko at the beginning because he hates everyone. You know? I mean, I'm going to assume that uh, uh, Tenko has some reason for her hatred. Unless she doesn't, because she, maybe she's just a shallow character. I don't... Most character here, characters in this game are, have a bit more going on than leads the naked eye or something. I don't know. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. This is it. Oh yeah, the Boosie. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon, a soft melody had filled the classroom. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. Debussy, that's a weird thing to say, you know. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. Well, I, I haven't done Hyoko's yet. I'm working on island mode slowly soon. I only did one recording, though, that I've already uploaded. I got, I'm going to work more this week on it, I think. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I especially did a lot on uh, Phoenix Wright, so maybe I should slow down a bit on it. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I'm not saying all characters get. I mean, Hifumi never really gets much development. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I mean, the character that gets the least development in the end will always be Mukuro Ikusaba. I won't give up. You don't get less development than that. Sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart. I promise you, Kaede. The 16th student. The ultimate despair. I knew yeah. she was going to appear. That's our promise. Let me question mark, question mark, question mark. Everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. I mean, we know who it is. Chapter one, my class trial, uh, trial, our class trial. Fourteen left. To be continued. A very special class trial. I got musical note hairpin. Of course, I'll save it. I'll save it at. Uh, this is the earliest one I have, so yes. Well, I guess I can go on for more. Let me switch display with F1. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's go on more. So it's barely been two hours. Oh, a shrine. Oh, wait. So young and talented. How could this happen? What? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. I thought so. Oh, no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. Who's they? I wanted them to live. For our sake, at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. No. They should have lived. They had to. 
for this world. Okay. That is bizarre. The thin line divides heaven and hell. I wonder what the hint that's giving us. Does that have to do with a Tua? Where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. You're looking for Shuichi, probably. No. Oh, bugs. Never mind. Come out, bugs. Where are you all hiding? Just when Gonta think he finds them, they gone. Weird. Really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun, but no bugs. Why? Insecticide. I mean, what the, with the, with the thing that just happened, pork chop? Look, I have no idea, but we'll probably figure out at some point. Yeah, no, don't say anything. At all. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not smart enough to figure out what that means yet. I mean, maybe I could. Let's just the future foundation. I don't know. Weird, so weird. If any bugs here, come out. Gonta want to talk to you. What, that? Something on ground and grass. Words written on it? Horse A. Horse A? A horse, you mean? Someone ringing on door. Oh, shit, Jesus Christ. Monokumas. Jesus! Who is it? Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Click. Kaito. Hey. hey, what are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kaito? Uh, first of all, are those ones... It's a normal bed. It was pretty comfortable. But are those things I can collect or not? Shell. Not bad again. Shell. I only collected one, didn't I? I got one in three. I didn't even remember getting this. Wait, I did. Alright. Kaito. Uh, um, Do you need something? Come on, well, yeah. Man. Food. Jeez. I was going to eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get you. But I don't recall making any plans. I mean, you should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you going to eat breakfast? Hey. Ah, uh, I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Huh? Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what do you eat in the morning? Huh? Um... Right. Ah, whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Uh. I, it means that he doesn't eat. Ah, uh, wait. I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Let's go. Uh. All right. I was going to tell you. I'm sorry about yesterday, you know, for slugging you like that. Huh? Uh, that? It's okay. I see. I see, then. Let's go. <laughs> I can make music doing that. I'm assuming the Future Foundation has to do with something here about it. I'm just not sure what yet. Kaito, I couldn't click on him. Hey! Everyone's weighing up, you know. Let's hurry up and get to the dining hall. Alright, let's go, then. Is Gonta still there? Casin There's a casino. Hotel Kuma Sutra. Oh my god. Kuma Sutra? You know what that is? Oh, I think you know what that is. What are you doing up there anyway? And there's no one here right now. But yeah, don't say anything, pork chop. I, I, if I feel like I know it, I'll take. But you know, I'm just kind of an idiot, so I don't. I'm not good at guessing things like that. Dining hall, dining hall, dining hall, dining hall, dining hall, dining hall. Oh my god, this game runs terribly, though. That's not the stream. That's the game. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Writing. Honest. Yeah, like someone tr tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh Atua says it's just graffiti. <laughs> now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Atua, that's even more suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying Atua's suspicious? How sad. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know, Whatever. I brought Shuichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. 
as I expected, they were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Good morning. <sighs> Good morning. No hat. Oh, Shuichi. Um, you finally got rid of that emo hat. Emo hat. Is this because Kaede died or whatever? Quiet, you male. Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you can stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive. Shabashira. What is kind of name is that even? No, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. Uh, um. You don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's no big deal. That is correct. You're right. My apologies. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Thank you. <laughs> How nice for you. I like playing Jane over here, who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Uh... I am playing, but it's the other way around. Taking my off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> don't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Listen up. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decide that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I prepared an Italian omelette, buttermilk, pancakes, smoked salmon, galette. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I have prepared rice balls and miso soup. <laughs> Kirumi, be my mom. Gonta <laughs> wants you to be his mom too. Oh, Jesus. What are you two even saying? Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, look. When Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Ah, she's like a small animal. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. Are you child obsessed or something? We chatted casually as we began eating our, the food Kirumi brought up. Amazing. It's a cool morning song. Going to not mean to flatter, but all this food is so yummy. Excellent. It's so delicious. It makes me want to cut my off my tongue. What? Hmm, the rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. The outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet sticky grain even when it's cold. Jeez. Do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. Mm. I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. What? Hey. How have you survived this long? What's wrong, Key Boy? You're not eating. Oh, oh yeah! See. I totally forgot you can't eat. You know, because you're a robot. Hey! Hey now, don't look so down. I'll bring your broken TV later. Well. I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. <laughs> Key Boy and Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. We were having a normal conversation as if nothing had happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. <laughs> But that's to be expected. The ad incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves, that's why. This kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. What's the matter, Shuichi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Sorry. Hey, I was gonna eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoved food into my mouth. By the way. That thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we gonna go check it out? I can't do his voice at all. What does that have to do with anything? Stop pointing your finger at me because I actually am one. Just, I'll, I won't say anymore. Haha! <laughs> Alright. Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty furniture and inst future instead. Why say furniture? Huh? Graffiti? Um... Oh, going to find it this morning. Hey! A on concrete, hidden in grass. Words horse A written there. I think it's supposed to be a horse like written backwards or something. Huh. What do you think it means? Well, its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. I see. Not even the, uh, the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo. Well, how about it, Shuichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. But, but... Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find the graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling divine? Do you do you channel the divine too? No. Oh, that because of tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um... Yeah, going to think that before, but... But... When out walking in courtyard, going to think he see tiny bug. 
but Bug so tiny, even Gonta could not see it. And Gonta have 20... 0.625 eyesight. That's awful. A fart. So maybe Gonta just make mistake, but Gonta think. Maybe. No. Maybe Gonta just see things. Gah! Now. Just make your mind already, you degenerates. So you found that message while you were out chasing some bug. Wow, Gonta. You did it. I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. Huh? What? Really? It's true. Yep. So you should work for me. Got it. Okay. What? You're going to agree to it just like that? Hey. Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> no way. Thank goodness. Good. Then Gonta have no reason to worry. Huh? Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible, you'll be killed before you know it. Understand? What the hell is that about? The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <sighs> oh, Kokichi, you know should say a thing like that, even as joke. Mm -hmm. Say what? Kill? Has the K-word been banned? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. Mm -hmm. How can you be so insensitive? Especially after what happened yesterday. Uh this is why I hate degenerate males. They're about as considerate as am as amoebas. Hey. Don't complain if some scary guy yells, What color is your blood at you? you really don't it's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Speaking of which... Hello! Looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. Yeah. Yeah, they're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. Isn't that your fault? Ganging up? No bullying! Bullying is not cool. Bullying is the worst. Personally, I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. It's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job of raising their kids. Are you even here? Ah, I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. A prize? Oh, but we're one member short. Why does it sound like a recording? Um, the reward. Right. We brought it. Yep. So I'll just give it to you then. Moto Dan? Hmm. My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Are you being bullied? Get. Let's, um. Moto Dan? I understand. From experience. From experience? Himiko, were you a victim of bullying from the past? Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? Gah! Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into a misshapen wretches. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Hold on. The Moto Cubs bully each other? What? No way. The Moto Cubs should always get along. Oh hey, you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We all get along, always. Eh? Hmm? Oh yes, we do. Right. See? My children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. well, I think the threatening vibe we Moto Cubs give off is perfect. Because we're a team of scary badasses who are going to drag you down to hell. <laughs> Such adorable little badasses. Got it? Anyway, we're going to hand it out the rewards you all have been waiting for. An ocarina. We got these fabulous, a bowling ones. ball. A charm and a thing for a wrench-like thing. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport. Ancient passport. And a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. Oh, which zombie game? Resident Evil? These prizes all come in a bundle. I've never played Resident Evil, so I don't know anything. What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? this Honestly, thing. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. Okay, I could hypothesize that it could be that they're weapons. I don't understand the ocarina unless you use some sort of uh, 
You used the song of Epona to summon her and have her crush everyone with her horse feet, nay. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Anyway, that's the situation, so just do your best however you please. So long, farewell. Let's go. You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. Secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? Not that, anything but that! Action. Wait, so the nape of your necks is your weak point? I would never do that. I just want to get along. Yeah. What? Get along? Really? Don't let him fool you. He killed Monokid, remember? I guess we're gonna get an elimination at each trial too here. Maybe a mono cup for each trial. Hmm, seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So what should we do with his, his junk? Maybe we need to use them on those mysterious things all over the campus. However, and what'll happen when we do? Uh, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. Ah. No, let's leave this to Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? Hey. You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Okay, I'll try. Man. Whatevs, I guess that's fine. So I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. Alright, let's get going. Okay, then everyone's gone. Ooh, five likes. Someone else liked it. Thank you for whoever did that. Okay, so I have an ocarina. An ancient passport. I think he said bowling ball. And some weapon from a zombie game of some sort. Amiko, you've been bullied. You've been bullied. My magic is reacting. Huh? The magic? Hmm. There's something around here. There's no mistake. Something around here, huh? How about that door? Ancient passport for that door, maybe? Mugi? Oh, you came here after all. It's plain to see this strange thing here is just plain strange. So is it plain or strange? Is it a plane? Click, click. It's locked. Doesn't seem like I can get inside. Now, how do I... What? Are you serious? I can actually use my mouse roller to walk? How is that even possible? I've never been to this point, I don't think. Oh, that's the gym. I just, okay, we've been here, kind of. Why would I ever use the mouse roller to walk, though? That is just bizarre. It doesn't even control very well. Actually, because you can run, I think. Oh my god, it's like a running thing. Now, how do I use these things? Actually, that's a very curious thing. I think that is a very, very What the? Wait, hold on. What's going on here? Dress up. Default handbook. Default handbook. Dress up? Oh, it's just themes. I was like, what do you mean by dress up? What do you have in here? Something new, I guess. New. Oh, the hairpin. Alright. Good enough. Uh huh, okay. Apparently something strange there. I don't... Oh, wait! Oh, I see now. I can use the passport. I didn't see that at first. One man's trash. And a cutscene. Boom! Wall broken. In a dungeon now? The wall came down. Was it because of my magic? No. Uh, no. There's an item on this object and... It was my magic. Uh, um. Call him Puichi? I guess. Okay, sure. Run! Actually, I can run with this too, so I don't know why I could... Uh, whatever. Hey, look! A magic room! Is that Himiko's? It's sort of different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. From the look of it, I guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. There you go. Look at all that voodoo. That's true. 
true. As I suspected. It's full of stuff related to magic tricks. Whose research lab is this? It's supposed to be mine, and there should be magical items. Hey. Right? Uh, right. Why are you asking me? So, Mugi. Uh, to think there was a room like this beyond that wall. I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. You and Kaida's research labs were open from the start. You're right. That's right. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's probably better to not bring up Kaida just yet, huh? No. No, it's no, it's fine. I'm okay. I see. Well, that's a relief. I was just plain worried. Um, I don't know how just yet, but I, like Kaida said, let's survive and escape this place no matter what. Well, what if I can destroy things? Boom. Boom. Everything that I can destroy will get destroyed. Doesn't look like much, though. Wow, there's like nothing I can destroy in here. Alright, then next we'll do... Alright, wow. Look at this one. What is this? That's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords, but comes out fine. It's not a trick. That's one of the space-type spells. Space-type? Oh, that sounds like high-ranking magic. That's right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space-type spells. No average mage can handle them. Uh, mhm, mm mhm. Mm so in other words, uh, you couldn't just be a mage. You'd have to be a sage. You needed to be. You'd need the words of wisdom for that. Smoogie was somehow able to follow all that. How about birds in a cage? Doves, maybe. Uh, this is a big cage. Hey. Hey, Himiko, what kind of magic trick do you, do you use on the cage for? You. It's not a trick. I'm telling you, it's real magic. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot about that. Hmm. I use that for a number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. What? Familiar? I see. Oh, you mean that trick where a dove comes out of your hat? Um. Uh, you mean a, ma you mean a magical animal? Hmm. Yes, that's right. My familiar isn't a dove. It's a tiger cub. <laughs> a tiger cub? It must be so cute. I'm jealous of you. Being able to pet something and fluff it like when that whenever. I'll admit, even I'm kind of jealous. Alright, we also have... Sawing box. This is going to be used for magic too. I see it in the magic show. Alright. Cauldron. What is this? It's a huge cauldron. Like, one of which would be stirring in a children's book. You. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting mana. Huh? Mana? Hmm. Don't you know? It's a necessary energy source for magic. I see. You mean like, ether or life force? Hmm. Mm. The names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Hmm. Is that so? Here, this one with the saw. The giant buzz saw. What a huge saw. This room can't be locked, so we don't just have to worry about the tricks being so we don't have to worry about the tricks being stolen. Spooky didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen again, but right. I can really feel it now. Just how bizarre the situation is. Alright, I guess the guillotine. This is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for ma or a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. I guess that's really all I can look at except for the large water tank. That's so you pretend to drown. It's a huge water tank. What if this is for a magic trick too? Okay then. Can I get rid of this? Yes, yeah, the hat. The table too. So you have to kind of hit them in a sweet spot sometimes to actually... If they're not a selectable object, that is, too. Like, maybe this broom. Yep. Hat. Hat. Oh, look, the hat was floating. That was magic. I guess that's all I can do here. I'll investigate here a little more. What the top? What did I miss? Let me investigate, because I didn't talk to Himiko, maybe? Man, they mixed up magic tricks and real magic. But this is a pretty car pretty thorough collection. Hey. Seems like there are labs for everyone. But why prepare so many? What is this place? Um. Monokuma said that this ultimate research academy for gifted children was made for the 16 of us. Hmm. Is that really true? 
Hey, the rooms in these dorms have locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Ah, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Hibiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Mm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's but I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not gonna budge an inch on that point. Get it now? Okay, now that's it. I just have to talk to Himiko. But it's, I guess I'll discover more by using those objects. I'm out of water! God damn it. Oh, jeez, that turned around too fast. Alright, so we don't need to be in there anymore. Now, I wonder if in the basement there would be something. I don't know. Let's go to the shopping school store again. Oh, fine. Don't let me buy right now, why don't you? Uh, mysterious objects, huh? I don't know if I had access to this point before. Nope, the second floor is new, I think. Jeez. So you finally decided to raise your head. Huh? What? Your... Up till yesterday, you were always walking around staring at your feet, right? Even when you had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. I can't deny that. However, this world can be too big and bright for your eyes that have spent too long staring down. Be careful. Don't let your eyes deceive you. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry for the unsolicited advice. I've been to prison. Well, juvie, I guess it's called. Should go on a date with Himiko? I don't know, man. We'll find out. What? The, what? I wonder, does Monokuma wish for us to do? What do you mean? I cannot fathom the reason he would give us those items and make us search at the school. Hmm, now that I think of it, the school regulations did mention searching the school. Within minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. This rule is indirectly urging us to search the school. Yes, I suppose that is true. Let's see. What will come of our search, and how will everyone react to it? I shall clearly observe each of them as well. Thank you. I don't want you observing me, though. There's nothing over there. Hey, look! I know what goes in there! Kichi. Oh, I knew you'd come to check this area. The dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. Yes, I know. Gonta. What about bugs? Shuichi, is there anything Gonta can do? Please say so. And sure. Alright. Dragon. I shall give you bowling ball thing, or whatever the hell it is. Oh my god! The dragon balls! It just breaks walls and reveals more. That is bizarre. Part of the wall is gone. Whoa, that's so cool! We can get past this wall now! Alright then, charge! And there he goes. Wait, charging in is dangerous! So whose room, am I, whose room am I gonna discover? Krumi, what's wrong? No. But I feel nothing. But I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time. Exactly how long is a long time? Good question. What do you have to say? Yeah, everyone's up here. I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. Okay, I see. We're still talking about that. Mew! Oh shit, even she's there. I forgot her name already. Hey. Did you bust your boy cherry virgin? How does it feel to walk right now? Okay, then that's... Music room. Oh, I did have access to here, actually. I don't know. Anyways, do, do you have time to stop? Hurry to find a use for all that junk. Wow, you're mean. Classroom. Well, let's go to the, where the dragon wall broke. Say a dragon ball, it's a dragon wall. Rock the dragon. Dragon, dragon wall! That was stupid, I must admit. It just takes me... Oh, I just went around in a circle, that's why. Hmm. Well, I'm here now. Well, what's, whose room is... The look at this door, and this must be an ultimate research lab. All right. Let's go inside. Ultimate maid lab, huh? Huh. Hmm. This room gives off an antique vibe. It's your room. It seems as if... These are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Then... This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. 
If I remember Speaking correctly. of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? That is correct. Every, the, every detective I see. Oh boy. So this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kirumi. Jack the Ripper, bring that up, it's kind of bizarre. Excellent. Mm, Victorian, this room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. This appears to be Kirumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Kore Kyo closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The editor is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey. That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. Is that so? Then are you saying I am like some young love-struck girl? <laughs> so that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Well, let's uh, get rid of that. We don't need you anymore. And this chair, pointless. That chair, pointless. Oh, shit! Okay, I didn't expect to get to it will destroy everything, almost. Can't get the chair! I can't! Jesus Christ, you have to like, hit a sweet spot on some of these things. There we go, finally did it. I have to probably just... Yeah, that's probably why. There we go. There's almost nothing in here but a table. There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner? This is my research lab. I presume these figurines, figures represent those I must serve. Well, they're gone now. Let's talk to you again. In the Victorian era, May servants lived beneath the manners in which they were employed. They were known as the downstairs people, as a stark reminder of their lower station. Alright, that's it. I'll investigate here a little further. What left could there be to investigate in here? This door? Entrance door, no. Did I already talk to you? Excellent. This room is nice. I'm quite fond of it. Sister would like it too. Sister? Oh, this whole goddamn closet wall. I didn't see that. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Is that it? Oh, no. Whoa, holy shit. Instead, there were a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will prove most us most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Kirumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. Serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. Hmm. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will, grant I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating to say it like that. Anything? Well, let's see if there's anything I can destroy in there. Yep. Pretty much everything like this, is there, except for the vacuum cleaners and the washers and dryers. It's like I can, but I can't. Whatever. Cleaning machines. These are some powerful cleaning tools. You get a lot of cleaning done with these. These are there are a lot of washing machines in here. Cool. Yes. Okay. Now I can leave. I had to look at the big closet. More down here. Holy shit! FPS destroy gone. Is that your lab? Uh, everything's broken in this game. Shuichi, we've been waiting for you. Hurry, hurry, we're all ready. Hurry? Hurry for what? In the lab? Or maybe... What is with this thing? Treasure chest. What is this? A treasure chest? We found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Shuichi? Huh? Really? I should open it? I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Shuichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Alright, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... Huh? What is this? A flashlight? No, it can't just be a flashlight. Yoo 
Maybe try turning it on. Hey. No, that's too dangerous. We should inspect it. Huh? It'll be okay. Even a flashlight is saying turn me on. Turn me on? Hurry up and turn me on, Shuichi. It's begging you. Whoa. Uh, if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Bye, Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bye, Onada. So do I still have it or not? Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. But... Wait, inspected? How? Well, it's empty now. Let's go to this lab. Now, this is a strange door. This might be an ultimate research lab. Hmm. Based on the design, it could be the ultimate entomologist lab. Oh, butterflies. Oh boy, music. None. Oh, Gunta. What the? Whoa, look at all those bugs. Insect specimens lined the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing. This paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. He doesn't like bugs, I guess. Well, almost everything here is destroyable in the back. Oh, oops. I accidentally the bugs got rid of them. Sorry, Gunta. I got rid of your bugs. Arranged books. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Wow. This is an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Hmm. Lots of larvae and eggs. They even sleep in a cool place. They are were refrigerated? What? It's okay. Eggs probably hatch if going to take good care of them. Well, well, do your best then. How about the ones up there? If all these hatch, there'll be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs in a new world. It's like the, that Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals began. Perhaps that's a little too dramatic. Why did you go there, even? Bugs gone, yeah. There are a lot of tiny... Of insect specimens on display. Wow! Pretty! Bug shine brighter than sparkly rockets! Or rocks! I'm going to understand. The person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. Maybe you did it. Maybe we've already been here and these are the labs we created. And Gonta did that. Amazing! Gonta wonder how many bugs there are. Gonta so excited he'd get his own special room. Who will make this room anyway? Going to need to say thank you. Huh? I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. Huh? What? No way. Monokuma? <sighs> but no person who likes bugs can be a bad person. Gonta sad. Oh, Gonta. I think I've inspected everything here. Yes, good. There wasn't that much in there. By the way, Porch of Noah's is also gone. My viewership. I think everyone just came in to mock me. All the Undertale crew. And then gone to stairs. Let's then go to the third floor from here. All right. They're a little scary, but I'll try. Man, going to the third floor in the second chapter? What is this crazy game? Well... Oh, tennis player. I was like, who plays tennis? Look at this. Yeah. Based on design, this might be the ultimate pro tennis. The ultimate tennis pro's lab. What would be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. Or prison stuff, because he was in prison. Oh, there we go. There's a lot of shit in here. Why is Mew in here? Wow, look at that robot. The entire indoor tennis court. This is impressive. Can I destroy each, like, ball? Imagine. Oh, shit. You can. Each ball can be destroyed. I don't know if I'm an obsessive person. Yeah, well, Leon liked baseball. Also, Leon would be scared of this setup, I think. Because he died. Always comes back to Leon. All right, let's talk to Ryoma. Um, this is your lab, right, Ryoma? It must be nice having a whole tennis court here. I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis. Hey, Ryoma, are you really not going to play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? 
It's fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. Hey, I forgot! So when you killed the Mafia with your bar badass test skills, was that a long time ago too? Wait. Hey, come on, you. What, was that? what? It really happened, yeah? No. Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. Hmm. So it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you staring at that tennis court with such sad eyes, Yoma? Are you a little bitch? Because you're acting like a little bitch right now. What's with that stare down? You're scaring me. Ooh, man, you changed your attitude so fast. Faster than Junko. Not really. Hey. Oh, now this is an interesting machine. Uh, interesting machine? You mean the one swinging the rackets? Uh, With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my career juices are flowing. <laughs> Big metal arm. <laughs> Coming from her, it has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. I can't even inspect it, though. Can I destroy it? I can't even destroy it. Destroy that. Shower room. Is there a closet or something in the back there? In the back? There's a shower room in the back. A shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. You'll be lined up just right when you turn around to face Shuichi. I was just kidding. I thought you'd laugh. Mm hmm. Oh, there's not much inspecting here either. You know, I can't destroy half this shit. Like it's just in the background or something. Can't even get that ball. Never mind. Alright then. That appears to be. Nah, it's probably more on the third floor. Is there? Let me see here. Right now, nothing catches my eye. Oh, wait, there's more here. I guess I should have the map open. Oh shit, I know what that is. That's for the ultimate child carer person thing. Look at this door, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what kind of kind though. I should take a look inside. So I reached my hand to the doorknob. I did not give you permission to enter. Huh? Ah, Maki, I forgot her name. So this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. That's true. You're right, goodbye. Oh. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? Huh? What? There's no rule against people going to each other's labs. I don't know. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? What's going on? Hey! What's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tip now, are you? <sighs> See? Thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. Because? You hear that, Shuichi? Knowing Brad has showed up, all because of you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So? What's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki. Don't be so pushy, Shuiji. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know? Uh, um, okay, I understand. Then? Good. Then stay away. If you try to go inside, it'll be extremely painful. For you. Painful? What? That is bizarre, but okay. Painful for you. If I was a dang and rompa, hmm. Really? If you were an ultimate monokuma, I mean good luck with that. Well, I've looked at everything up here. Well, not really. I wasn't allowed into her lab. She just banned me from it. I need the map open now. Bug made. Piano, classroom, classroom. So it looks like I've done everything up here, too. I'm just using the map now to navigate. I wonder if this is ever going to be like the ultimate sexual pervert or something. Wait, do we have that? Technically not as an ability. I don't think there's anything in the basement. Well, let's go outside, maybe. See, we have had sexual perverts in this game, we just haven't had the ultimate one. Hmm, that's strange. Whoa, there are fewer plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. Or are they building more buildings? They did say it was under construction. I suppose construction is still ongoing. But where exactly is this academy built anyway? No one has come out to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex this large in secret? 
Alright, there's people around here. Hello. Whoa, damn, did you see how fast I walked there? Hmm, mysterious monument, huh? Um That item we received earlier. I think we can use it on this stone monument. Ah, the Ocarina. Can you try? Ugh, can't even see Tenko. I can't believe what happened in the dining hall earlier. Males are so insensitive. I wouldn't I wouldn't ever dare to ask why you decided to remove your hat. That's something that should be kept private between you and Kaede. Thank you. Tenko. I also feel that I must carry on Kaede's wish. No matter what, we'll get out of here. I won't give up. Shuichi, don't ever conduct yourself in such a shameful manner ever again. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I won't. Hey, look, you've been upgraded from degenerate male to, I don't know, hopeful person? Ocarina. Play the Ocarina. Of despair, I guess. Dolphins, pool. It's a pool. You don't have a swimmer here. The vine suddenly withered. The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Ah, we can get in. We can go in from there, right? Um, you intend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. I'll go inside it. I was like, where are you going? Song of healing. Sure. No, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Pool? Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. 24-hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. Wonderful explanation. Huh? Thank you. You stupid. Hmm. I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. So long, <laughs> what should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going in for a swim, are we? But, but if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It's never bad to have too much information. You're right. Yes, I suppose you're right. All right, I guess we'll go inside. Well, the pool's not full. This doesn't look like an old school pool. More like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Wow. I've always dreamed of swimming in a fantasy pool like some big shot celebrity. Too bad I don't know how to swim. But I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Hmm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even farther. Can I destroy all these things? Oh, pretty much. I see you here. Don't hide from me. If you're destroyable, I destroy you. Look at all these ones here, too. Even the tables are destroyable. Jesus Christ. You can barely see that one there. There we go, got it. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. Hmm. No, so swimming is prohibited at night time. Here we go again. That's right. No one's allowed to swim during night time. It'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. We need you to die in the killing game. So you can visit the pool at nighttime, even t touching the waters against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add it to the existing regulations just in case. Yay. Uh, anyway, why is the pool's water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What the hell are you saying? You got gaping holes instead of eyes or something? There's enough water to swim. Oh, it looks shallow because the pool is so deep. And someone would be more likely to drown if we filled it up all the way. And that's that. So that's that. Put a lot of thought into some strange things. Wonderful. Wonderful explanation, everyone. What? Really? I'm so happy to hear you say that. You stupid. Did you forget that he killed Mono Kid? You should hate his guts. Screw Mono Kid. I always hated him. Okay. He was violent, vulgar, rude, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kittens. Hey. Why that sound like praise near the end? He like Get kittens. Meow, meow. Anyway, no swimming at night time. That's okay. I wasn't planning on swimming. There are also some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool size is 30 feet on each end. And the left and right sides are 8 feet each. That's very specific. 
wonder if the day will ever come when I can swim with everyone. Kibo, I was wondering. If you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea, beneath a rock, or in a pineapple? <laughs> oh god! Oh my god, Porkchop. I can't believe they did that. What? No. I believe that before you get too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Please, stop. Please don't say such scary things. Both of you, or I'll never set foot on a boat. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Kibo Robot Man. Listen up. There's a fancy pool here, and there must be swimsuits in here too. Huh? Huh? Are you positive? Yes. Of course. There's no point having this pool here otherwise. Well. I suppose that's true, but so where are the swimsuits? Well, I saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true. All the closest se closets seem to contain spare uniforms. Hmm. If there are any swimsuits, I suppose they can be in the warehouse. <laughs> How scandalous! We're in a place that degenerate males have easy access to. Uh, I don't really think that's a problem. Oh, I get it. The degenerates only care about used swimsuits or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. Okay, then. All right, let's see. A diving board. Is someone going to crack their head open? It's a large diving board. This is also something you would find at a resort. And a pool that's barely filled. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. The pool is deep, but it isn't filled all the way up. Still play a water swimming. Technically. Storage room door. This looks like a storage room? I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in here. It's fully stocked with kickboards, water pole balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way, perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. <laughs> I think it would look like that tire company's mascot, Michelin. Really, a Michelin reference now? Is still, something that's bothering you. What could be bothering you? Uh, the gym window. That window must be the gym's window. Looks like the one that was at in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and the pool area are connected. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard for a school to have the gym and pool area near each other. Right. So I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's play of land in the courtyard. What about there? Uh, um. I don't know. I think that's it now. There's still something that's bothering you? What could be bothering you? Oh, that window. This window must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but this one in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? <gasps> eh, anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who would do that? I heard the Jerry males get more turned on by girls in swimsuit than by girls who are naked. Mm -hmm. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties that we wear over our privates. What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of degenerate males? No. I think you may be overreacting a little. <gasps> Oh, Kibo, are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Hmm. Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. Huh? Really? How interesting. I suppose I did just assume he was a he, but Kibo is a robot, so... I suppose this is all for the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. There we go. Pool area done. I feel like they're hinting at something going down here at some point. There's also a bunch of people over there. It should be one of my last areas to explore, I think. At a castle? Why? Kaito! Got it. Oh, Shuichi, have you solved the mystery of the junk yet? I mean... That weird projection there. I've got a feeling you can use that one w thing with it. Well, I've got no idea how, though. But you know... My hunches are usually right. Let's give it a try. Over here. Oh, you can turn it. It's the only one left. Wait, what does that word say? What does the text on the door say? A A V R I T I A L. What is this writing here? Casino. Oh, uh, the Ku Kuma Sutra! Jesus Christ, what is this, the nightlife world? 
There's a casino. Why? Gonna go gamble? Oh shit. Bam bam. -o. What is this place? Is this like a casino? Rise and shine or shine. Damn, it's always loud. This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This place is a casino. Um, you can earn lots of mono coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. Yep, yep. You sure can. <laughs> that was wonderfully amateurish, Mono Dam. It had a flavor not even father could match. That's right. In a sense, you've surpassed Daddy. Okay. Which makes you a grandpa. Mono Dam, Grandpa Mono Dam. So oh, I guess I can get more money here if I need to buy stuff. Entrance basement. A casino? Why is a casino in a place like this? Welcome, welcome! The casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You exchange mono coins for the coins at the cashier. Once you exchange them, they can't be exchanged back, so know what you're doing. By now, you should be able to see how many coins you have. The coins you saved up can be exchanged for fabulous prizes at the prize exchange counter. We're, we're always getting new prizes in, so look forward to that. There are games for you to try in the basement. Go ahead! Let's play! I guess these are all, yep. So you mean I can't get any of my coins back? Even if I win? I don't know. Exception, the change counter. Uh, I don't want that many. Wow. Okay. Let's get 50 coins for now. Premium exchange counter? What? Oh, oh! Lady Brooch Ultimate Academy Bracelet. Mono Jinbei. Popular Japanese summer clothes. Wow, look at all the coins they need to buy this. And there's stuff here I don't even know what it is. What is all this stuff? I guess there are more gifts you can get, maybe? The Gourd Insect Trap. Well, I know who would like that one. 46 moves of the killing game. What are they supposed to be like cards against humanity or something? Dangan Werewolf. Key of Love. A key to a certain place filled with greed and lust. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Oh. I definitely want that. I definitely want to get that one then. Seems to open up an extra scene at some point. Oh boy. Kaito? Got it. Oh, look, Suichi. Sorry, a little bit tired. Kaito shouted and pointed at a treasure of coins in front of him. Uh. Whoa, where'd you get that mountain of coins? Huh? I hit the jackpot. I got this much from just one coin. Huh? All this from just one coin? That's incredible. Heh, <laughs> just regular day for the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. What? Nice work, Maverick! That's some uncanny luck you got there! Whoa. Don't just jump out like that! Yeah. My bad! I was over here by your lucky streak! Nice haul you got there! You can catch those coins for something really splendid! What character is he playing? Well, They're well. only good here, though! But if you earn more, you can reach the best treasure in this place! Huh. <laughs> for hearing that, there's no going back for me! Huh? But you could trade in what you already have right now! Come on, what are you man. saying? I don't mean this challenge, I'm not a true man! Besides, there's no way my intuition as Luminary of the Stars can be wrong. That's, That's nice. it, Maverick. You the man. And thus began the sad tale of Kaito's downfall. Oh shit. What? Ah, damn it. Not again. Well, What's wrong, Maverick? You're down to half your coins. Wouldn't it be best to walk away now? It's just half. I'm gonna get everything back. Just you watch me. Gone, right? I don't serve one coin after another, but a win never came. Damn. This is my last coin. This is where I'm going to have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. Kaido slid his last coin to the slot and with a determined stare pulled the lever. Right here! Uh -huh. Whoa, scary face. Your intuition was totally wrong, Kaito. Man, I'm glad I built this casino. Watch you suck this loose. Everything is hilarious. Damn. Damn it. 
I was set up. Boy, I stopped while I was ahead. You do hear that a lot from people who have gambled every, every way, everything. They think they can win just a little bit more and end up destroying themselves. I'm gonna quit gambling forever. You can bet on that. That is also typical, typically what they, those people say. Outlaw run. Looks like I can, can't play this right now. How about the salmon fishing? Salmon fishing, it's a game where you fish for salmon. Yeah, I'll try this one. Uh, read the rules. Salmon fishing, salmon night. On this night, the salmon come left and right. Use your Monokuma eye to find them. Fish for the color Monokuma desires. And Monodam, in Monodam and bonus, but beware of the mines. That was quite the poetic explanation. I guess. Let's try it out. I'll bet one coin right now, because... That's kind mode right now. Oh god. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, wait, red. Order. Ex oh, shit. Blue. He's like changing now all the time. No, this one's green too. This one's Oh shit, a bomb. I missed the bomb. Okay, get the red there. I think this one's green, yeah. Oh shit! Mono dam. I got three coins out of that, apparently. <laughs> yeah, sure. Max bet, how about no? Mono Kuma slot machine. Looks like a slot machine game. I'll try this one. Read the rules. How to win a slots. So as many coins as you like, then spin the slots. You have 100% chance of winning if you never stop. Spin, spin, spin forever. Well, that was nonsense. I'll try it out. Okay. Let's roll the two. Probably not gonna win. My time to shine. 16. Okay. I mean, it's, I don't know, how are you supposed to get all those coins? Uh, what was that? Oh, maybe I got a, I don't know what happened. I just got 16. Oh, look, Rain's favorite number. Of that. There, how about all of them? I'm probably gonna lose on this one though, for sure. Out. That sucks. I'm done. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get a best to do a max bet, probably. I definitely want to get that special thing, though. Because over here, they have, um... No, not here. Over here. It has a thing that with the... Uh, where is it? 
What the hell does that mean? The key of love. I want to try and get the key of love because it sounds like it could be it lead to something interesting. I just don't know how much I should be like ever, like how long would it ever take to even you know, win a lot? Because I only have so many mono coins. I'll try one more time. But also it depends. Like I would need to do it by a certain time to even unlock the scene for it, right? A max bet. I mean, like that. That's a max bet. Oh, I got 16. Holy shit! Oh, I see what you mean. Wow, I just got a lot of coins there. And then I got nothing there. <laughs> it's just gonna, the rest of the stream is going to be me playing slots. I mean, I wanted so many coins to begin with. I can I can spare a few extra sometimes. Man, my luck's it's like they gave me a taste of winning. And then that's it, no more winning after that. Oh shit, 200. Nice. Slowly but sh Maybe I should play this on my own and try and get... You can max bet on right. Anyways. Yeah! Come on, man. <laughs> We're just going to be playing slots now. Yeah. Whoa, 16 there. There we go. It seems like I, uh, max betting is the good option because even though I lose quite a few coins, it seems like I can win easily eventually. Lucky! Oh shit! Bonus game. Let's try this bonus game. But I'm probably gonna lose now. Oh shit! Sixteen. Okay. That's still a bonus. Oh shit! Another sixteen. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! More sixteen. Two bonus game. One time you got three sevens, that was a thousand coins. Nice. Well, I got plenty of coins there. I should play this on my own, if anything, like between streams and just build all the coins I can. I don't know how this is randomized anyway. Are you bored of this yet? I should continue on. Seems 16 is the average. All right, two more plays. How about that? Last play. And it's done. All right, you know what I'll do? I'll do some of that off stream. Let's just finish off. I'll finish off the kind of story stuff. It's somehow entertaining to watch, lol. Yeah, Chuck's dang and romp a gambling problem begins. All right, so next stream is gonna be three hours of the mono slot machine. How about that, pork chop? All right, let's go check out. Holy shit, this guy runs fast. The Kuma Sutra. Rest twenty five dollars. Two guests, two hours until one twelve p.m. I mean, we know what this is, obviously. What's this building? I'm not sure. I like the implication. Wait, you don't want to go in? You don't want to go into it? I know what it is. Addicting, eh? Lol. Almost addicting. Like I said, I'll do it. Found you, Shuichi. Oh. I didn't know you were here. I've been looking for you everywhere. 
Angie, did you find out anything about the flashlight? Uh... Yep, I finally figured it out. It seems like Katua wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Bye, you don't have to relax. You don't have time to relax now. Bayonara! I'll do some of that slot machine on my own. Yeah, that's what it seems like. If Katua is going to explain it to us, I'm guessing she didn't figure it out. But in any case, I should go to the gym. I want to get that key of love. Anything that says keep it for something interesting is always something good to have. Because, you know, naughty scene. Probably something very naughty is going to happen. I could presume. I already got one of the things. The man's whatever. Oh my god, man. This game is built terribly. I bet it runs better on the PS4. Can I go in the other building? I don't know. Well, I was supposed to go to the gym for whatever this is. Here. What, the, the uh, Kuma Sutra? No, I couldn't go into the Kuma Sutra. I have a feeling that's a special scene or something that comes later on. But everyone's gathered here. So let's finish off this part first, maybe, and then I'll end the stream. Everyone! Gather round. We all here? Good. Then let's bow our heads and pray to Atua. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? Just tell us what you fucking want. Yes, Alrighty then, check this out. What's the matter? That is a peculiar looking flashlight. So what of it? Uh... I don't know what it is either. I inspected it pretty good. <laughs> but in the end, I couldn't figure it out. Huh? You couldn't? So I asked someone for help. Could it be... You don't mean... Me oh, Monokuma. Leave it to if Monokuma. something has you worried, just let Monokuma take care of it. Key of Love, best to get in school mode? Really? Hmm, I would've figured it'd be good to have in the game. If you don't like something, I'll fix it. So don't get rid of it. Please don't get rid of me. What? Very bad when lady who act like that preys on you. What? Huh? Do you know what form... That from personal experience? Because you, you can't get Rantaro scene if he is dead. Oh. Really? It's a Rantaro scene? I mean, you literally couldn't get that scene then until... School mode, really? Tell us, Monokuma, what is this flashlight? Yeah. Why, it's a flashlight. It's a flashback light. Oh. A flashback light? Huh? Flashback? No, no. Light? Hey. That flashlight doesn't shed light on darkness. It sheds light on your lost memories. Hey. Lost memories? Yeah. You guys yeah. seem concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to this school. Yeah. But if you use that flashback light, you can remember everything. Huh? What? With this light? So it's your fault we don't remember when we were kidnapped, huh? What did you do to us, and how did you steal our memories away? Hmm, maybe if you use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember that too. I don't believe it. No way this flashlight will work to... This flashlight will recover our memories. I bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented too. For your information, the flashback light can test treat various symptoms of memory loss. The light it emits stimulates the... Basal ganglia and hippocampus, not just that, but physical. I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. Basically, it works like that. Hmm. Don't just give up on explaining after a single sentence. What should we do? So what should we do? Um, what should we do? I mean, should we or should we not use the flashlight? No, no way. I refuse. Reeks of fishiness. Mm. Yeah, Gonta no can believe flashlight can bring back memory. Well. Why not ask someone who knows machines? We got the ultimate inventor right here. Aww. You're all a bunch of ultimate dumbasses. No fucking way that thing can treat amnesia. Then again, these aren't exactly normal circumstances. Well. So in such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. You uh... can't complete free time events with Rantar as Shuichi 2 in main game. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that makes sense because you can't. Because he's dead. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, basically, Rantaro's dead, so you can't do anything with him. In fact, could you ever even finish him off in the first a little bit? Were there enough free time modes to finish him off? Well, I mean, there are those neutralizer things, the flashy things from Men in Black. Well, are you talking about a movie? This is a real life. I can't believe they actually just said Men in Black straight out. I guess. You're right. I'm sorry. I don't like that. I don't think we should do it. I'm scared it might cause some weird side effects. I'm worried how it will affect my magic. All of you. Has everyone spoken? If we're in accord, I will consent as well. Yeah. What about you, Shuichi? 
You have not said anything yet. Huh? What? Uh, I... Alright! Alright, let's decide. Let's use it. What? Huh? Who decided that? We're all saying how dangerous it sounds. Jeez. You guys are way too cautious. I mean, I understand why. We're in such a weird situation after all. But you know... But we can't win by just running away all the time. What? Listen up. If you want to win, you've got to be a little reckless sometimes. We can't face this danger, there's no way we'll be able to defeat Monokuma. <laughs> well, aren't you confident? But you've no idea how we're supposed to win, do you? Ah. Yeah, I've got no clue, but still. If you want to win, you've got to make a stand. Somewhere, or you'll never move forward. If we run away, our kids will grow up to be the kind of people who run away from things like this. I don't understand. Huh? What are you talking about? You know... If you still want to run away, then go ahead. I will stop you or blame you. Okay. Fine, then let's go. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Aren't we going? Um, I'm staying. After hearing that degenerate speech, running away would just frustrate me. Mm. Got it. Going to also stay is what true gentlemen would probably do. 100%. I also agree with Kaito. Our defeat is 100% assured unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in your ghost? I'm pretty sure robots don't have ghosts, though. That is Leave me alone. I shall stay as well. I shall stay as well. I suspect I will be able to observe something most interesting. On your knees. If anything happens to me, y'all be, y'all better beg my fans, the world, and humanity for forgiveness. Hey. There we go. It's fine. I'll end the stream soon anyway. But thanks for watching along for what you could and sleep well. Yeah, tomorrow is it really late where you are though? So what are you gonna do, Shuichi? I'll stay behind too. Man, this thing's really not letting me advance. All right. right. I'll stay too. So what if it might cause some weird side effects? That's no big deal. It seems everyone agrees with Kaito. Very well. I shall follow suit. <laughs> now it's decided. Hurry up and do it. Then I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. Please. Click. Click. Oh, she said it for me. At that moment, at that, the moment that Angie flicked the, on the light, the world warped. Oh, Jesus! DNA name. A lightning bolt in my mind shattered my consciousness like shrapnel. Like a video in fast forward, scenes played out in the back of my head. When the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again. <laughs> I remember. I remember now. I was running away. I had been running this entire time from the ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. I wasn't safe anywhere. Eventually I had no place to run. I was cornered and to escape from the ultimate hunt, I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. By erasing my talent and my memories, I no longer had any reason to be hunted. If I didn't do what I did, I would have been captured. A, face worth, a fate worse than death. And so I chose. I chose to gamble on a new technology developed in a particular facility. A technology that could put your memories to sleep by controlling your brain waves. I used that to hibernate all memories relating to my talent. Damn, we're just getting a lot of information. Yes, I remember everything now. In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory. Hold up. Wait, did you say ultimate hunt? Huh? Really? You guys too? So it wasn't just me getting chased down in this ultimate hunt? I do not agree. Yes, you were not the only one. I. No, we were being chased as well. We looked around at another, at one another, each of us with the same shocked expression. With, what what Kurumi, Kirumi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from the ultimate hunt. All of us here were being chased by the ultimate hunt. What on earth does that mean? Um, oh wait, can someone tell me what that is? I can't seem to remember. What is the ultimate hunt? Geez. How could you forget something so important? Alright guys, the ultimate hunt is... What, what was it? Why can't I remember? Uh, I can't um... either. I suddenly realized. I could not remember, remember any important details of the ultimate hunt. But how? It's no use. I can't remember either. I can only remember being chased. I can't remember anything else at all. Yeah, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to remember. I don't want to live. 
I want to die with everyone else. Whoa. What was that? I want to die with everyone else? I remember saying that, but why did I say it? Uh, um, it's no use. I can't remember either. God damn this it. feels gross. Like a shit that won't fully squeeze out. However, Even if we can't remember, we should still be able to figure something out. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> if we were all running from the ultimate hunt, then why are we imprisoned here? Why? Why? Could it be? Could the reason be that we were caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the ultimate hunt? Um... You mean... We tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyway? And subsequently we were captured as part of this ultimate hunt? You know... Then this killing game is... Yeah. It might be the work of the ultimate hunt. Let's see. If that is so, then I am all the more concerned about this ultimate hunt. But, but... How disappointing. No one can remember anything. <laughs> what a disappointing disappointment. A Quit laughing about this, you little shit. It seems as if... It seems him... Losing him made a far bigger impact than we expected. Huh? Him? Yes. Frantaro. He seemed to know more than he let on. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell to anyone? I forgot he even said that. I do sort of remember him saying something like that. Mm. Our mild-mannered mystery man said that, huh? But, but then, why did only Rantaro remember the Ultimate Hunt? Listen. There is no point discussing that now. After all, he is already dead. But if you truly wish to hear his words, you can perform a s I could perform a science for you. Hmm? Stop it. Don't bring up weird stuff like that. Why are you acting girly all of a sudden? Yep, death can be real heartless. Why? Says the root of all evil. <laughs> Looks like you guys safely got your memory back. Hey! What the hell's going on? You stupid ass bear. The open hunt makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. Looks like your sealed memories are more stubborn than I thought. Just one of the flashback light wasn't enough to restore all your memories. You got me. You're such a terrible liar. You totally did that on purpose. Well. What connection do you have with the ultimate hunt? <laughs> I can't reveal that. Regardless of my true identity, my goal is crystal clear. Yeah. That is to make you guys participate in a killing game. That is my only desire. <laughs> the killing game. That's what it always comes back to. You what? Me. Killing game? I'll never do that ever again. That's right. We just gotta work together. If we cooperate, we'll make it out of here alive. <laughs> just like a certain someone said. Kaide. But, but I believe cooperating with each other is the most logical course of action. I'm snoring. Hi. Why are you sleeping? Whoa. Whoa, huh? What? Jeez. Hey, Kokichi. We're having a serious conversation here. Hmm. And it is written somewhere that I have to take serious conversation seriously? <laughs> Quit acting so immature. Mm -hmm. I'm a teenager, so duh. I'm immature. Aren't you guys beginning to act your age? What is it? But I don't have a biological age. Uh, don't worry about it, Kibo. I was talking to the humans right now. <laughs> so? What were we talking about again? Something about working together and to escape, right? Mm -hmm. So you were listening, you horrible degenerate. See? We don't have to work together, though. Let's just ask how we can get out. What's the point? If we ask Monokuma, he'll say the only way is to win the killing game. We really oh, we're not going to ask Monokuma. We're going to ask the mastermind among us. Huh? What? Why, you? Are you already going senile? I thought we agreed that there is no mastermind. Hmm. Um, oh yeah? We did, didn't we? If we try to sniff out a mastermind again, we'd just repeat Kaede screwed up. You better quit messing around. Huh? huh? You think I'm messing around right now? Oh, man. You really don't get it. I'm trying to get through, hit this through to everyone. If you keep saying all this uplifting stuff about working together and cooperating, <laughs> then you can expect to receive some painful retaliation. Get it? Wait! What are you suggesting, Kokichi? That's enough! I'm gonna slug him. Whoa! Ah, he's gonna punch me! I gotta make a break for it! Kokichi said his piece and then dashed as fast as he could out the room. <laughs> Damn, he's fast. Sheesh. What a strange guy. Jeez. He just provokes people and never says anything from the heart. He's always messing around and making fun of those around him. Huh. How can you say such insensitive things when we're trying to work so hard, so hard to survive? <laughs> it's like he doesn't even want to survive. But I guess I'm no different. Huh? What? In other words. Yeah, I don't plan to survive till the end. Ryoma. Um... You not plan to survive? What that mean? That is... He has mentioned that before. That he has no reason to live. Yeah. He doesn't have a reason to live? What? Poor Ryoma. 
Seems he's got a more tragic past than we could even begin to imagine. I mean, yeah, but the only test pro shouldn't be saying such cowardly stuff. What do you think? Perhaps we should relax over a meal? Everyone, could you please tell me your favorite foods and beverages? Huh? You're going to whip something up? K Kirumi, are you like the perfect mom? Again with the mom stuff. After we finished the me meal that Kirumi, pre Kir Kirumi prepared for us, we decided to return to our rooms. Loading. Well, the ultimate detective's room is kind of bland, I guess. There are hidden monokumas around the ultimate academy. Maybe you've already seen one. You can collect hidden monokumas by investigating them. Your collection will be displayed on the shelf in this room, so get busy filling it. They're fun to look at for when you want to take a little break from everything. Alright then. Anyway, what is the ultimate hunt? It's still bothering me. And why did Rontaro know? I suppose I won't get anywhere thinking about it by myself. Time for action! All right. There's still time left today. I think I need to, I need to think of a plan. Free time, but... We won't be doing free time right now. I do wonder, what I'll do is save here. Yeah, I'll save over this. And quickly, I want to see if the casino is available first. Let's go to the door. Because I might, before the next stream, work a bit on at the casino and see how much money I can win. So I'll continue with that save, but then I'll like do some casino stuff on my own. Let's just check this out first before I continue on. Whoa, why is he so fast, blinding fast out here in the field? That is bizarre. And then, he's like an airplane. Yeah, it looks like you can do casino stuff. So I, I might do that sometime during the week before the next stream, I think. It takes a while to load everything in the casino for some reason. Yeah, you can't do casino stuff. So I might do that a bit on my own. There's Kokichi, but I'm not going to do anything with him right now. What the? Oh, man. There we go. All right, then. Thanks for watching, for those who did. And, yeah. That was interesting, wasn't it? And at least now I'm at the free time, which means to be closer possibly to the next killing. Thanks, Pork Shop, of course. And uh, I'll see. I'll see if maybe I can stream something tomorrow. I don't really know, but I'll find out. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you wherever the hell I see you people, which is pretty much just you and Pork Shop and me, Cronus in the background. Until then, so long.